Boom. <laughs> Onion nuggets. What's up? How you well, doing, everybody? Get her done. Get her fucking done. Dude, get her done, Larry TJ. Been... Time to get her done. You gonna Dude, get me her and Larry done? have been chilling here, TJ. You've her... been angry towards get us. Get her done. Yeah, TJ, why are you so mad today, TJ? I, Larry came in and I was just like, I was, "Hey, I TJ, was, get I'm it laughing. done." You like, fucking bitch, bitch, didn't you fucking Scott didn't even see my shit till five minutes before? And I was like, "Well, did you pull mine? You didn't even send me nothing. Either. I sent it last night. No, you didn't. Oh yeah, you did." <laughs> <laughs> he's just fucking mad at the whole fucking. He's like a like a like an angry, hungry. He's like a hangry dog. You, you ever like? I was up late last forget night. to fucking... feed your dog at the same hour yeah, every day. Exactly like, happened, yeah, dude. I'll tell you exactly uh-huh. what happened. I was up late last night. Up into the wee hours of the morning, fucking absorbing fucking right. Twitter drama, dude. <laughs> okay, well I believe that. I actually. Believe oh my so god, bro, it was, dude! I was. It, I, was I, super, <laughs> it was super dramatic. Okay, so like, check it out. <clears throat> okay. So you remember, like a million years ago, Vosh was like, you know, J.K. Rowling's fucking stupid cunt or whatever the fuck he said, right? It was like yeah. last week, but yeah. yeah, a million years ago. Yeah, so, last week. Then um, you know, a bunch of people were like. Vosh's ironic misogyny, blah blah blah. There's like this discourse bullshit because everything, every time Vosh farts, there's like a discourse, right? Oh, so like God. all these people are like, blah, 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 blah. Blah, he shouldn't. I mean, he's she's wrong to be transphobic, but he was wrong to be misogynistic. And blah, 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 blah. So all this shit happens, right? And I don't really oh. care too much about that. That's like whatever. That's just like standard Twitter bullshit. Wizard but, lady bad. Yeah. But then anyway. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Kat- wizard <laughs> lady said something, and then Vosh said something too. And, oh <laughs> yeah. boy. Yeah. So anyway, so then um, Cat Black, you remember her? A million years ago. Yes. Feminist. Yeah. Uh, remember her? Kinda. Yeah. Anyway, so she goes on there and she's like writes this like gigantic, insanely long screed, right? That's Where? on Twitter, like in a million oh. fucking like. It's like. Is that like, a twit longer? Yeah. No, it's like a bazillion Twitter posts. Oh, like, she did the whole thread. How many was it? How many? How many? How many? I mean, like posts. Beyond are we talking? like count, it's like the longest one you've ever seen. Oh my god, it's wow. the longest one you've ever seen in your whole fucking Man, life. Man, you are right? just chasing me away from this. I know drama, I know, right? <laughs> so then Vosh is like fucking stupid bitch, whatever the fuck he says, right? And then uh, contrapoints comes in there, and she's like, you know what, Vosh, you're being a piece of shit. Fuck you. And then Cat Black's like, you know, I actually sexted with Vosh back in the day. You know, and I got to say. His Wait a minute, team, what? Yeah, she's like, I actually sexted with Vosh back in the day. And, I, you know, I was underwhelmed. And I, I, he sent me his nudes and his dick is like underwhelming and stuff. Was that relevant to the drama? That it was oh, no. Shit, she dude. totally brought it up out of fucking the this wild like, blue yonder. And then a bunch of oh, people man. Like, you know, you, you fucking talk about consent and all this, everyone being comfortable on your channel. But then you do this. So it's like a big clusterfuck of everybody. <laughs> dude, so Vosh was, got the I've seen better, then, dude. Like, look, he really, he literally got that. Like, he goes somewhere and it's like, I've seen better. You know, he, he and got then that Vosh with his fucking uh, goes on his um, stream at like three something in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, all this shit. And he's just like going through his, like his stream is basically him going through his, um, his subreddit and anybody who even slightly disagrees with them is just like, you're banned from my subreddit. Okay, you're dude, banned, you're I'm banned, sorry. You're banned. You're I'm banned. sorry, but this just proves something about men in general, dude. Like you, if you credibly insult a man's pee pee, it's done. It's over with dude. It's over with. It's like, no, no dick jokes. <laughs> Why talk about horse cocks? I met my own. Well, we had someone we know as senior cock and they said, eh, that's hey, pretty wild. What do, you, what do you think the chances are that these people get together and like collude to make these things happen? Uh, pretty high. Like um, in the yeah, background, they were kind of like DMing each other, like, "Okay, yeah. you know, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the oh, fucking you sexy that, thing." No. <laughs> have you heard about the the makeup shit that went on? Like, I mean, like I know there's endless drama there, but there's definitely like there's been oh, yeah. collusion with those that people. James that Charles kid. You guys remember that? I I got into that briefly. Like I I did uh, actually like at one point, probably like 2019 or something. Yeah. I did like a little micro dive on makeup channel review drama. Mm-hmm. And it's holy endless. fuck, bro, those people are insane. <laughs> they are vicious and insane. I know. It's all crazy. of them. Did you uh, thought yeah, like no, the show I, was, I, know, I remember. was bad, TJ? What's that? You thought guy? that shit was bad? This makeup shit is like cutthroat, and, and dude, and oh, surprisingly, yeah, like millions I've, of even, dollars every time online. Every I even get a whiff of the makeup shit drama, I'm like that's too much. I gotta, 
I, I know. Well, dude, plus shit. it's because it's all about them trying to like elevate themselves up a peg. So it's like endless sex dramas, endless you're a terrible person. But then it's like down by more, my cat from her, she that ass. Oh yeah. But, but, but then when you ass. when you look oh, at it, I hate to do it, but it's like a work, dude. It's like a WWE fucking work where it's like, well, you know, oh shit, these people don't even hate each other. They all the hang out. The experience I really have with that is um back in the day when I got that message from Onision where he's like. You and me should go on the Steve Wilco show, and we'll like really ham up the drama and stuff. And I'm like, he's at work, dude. Of course. I'm just like, dude, I don't, I don't do that shit. I don't want to be on no so, fucking Steve Wilco's, dude. Fuck off, dude. Can I, can I, can I lay a conspiracy theory on you? Can oh, I, shit. can I expand on the conspiracy theory like, of? You talk to me. It's pretty much a conspiracy theory. So I'm, I'm of course, yeah, it's like that's true. <laughs> I, I'm, just I'm a. <laughs> Paul's like, you know what I think is? I think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> now look, look at this. <laughs> Well, my logic, dude. Tell me I'm wrong, okay? Right. So, right, like, two weeks ago, like, you you follow Vosh way closer than I do, but when the big kind of, like, Ukraine story broke, everybody was talking, like, Vosh was heavily, like, Everyone. you know, he's kind of, like, going, like, all in on the uh, yeah, supporting really, Ukraine thing. I didn't really watch his stuff on that. I found it, like, way too, um, I don't know, jingoistic, rah, rah, jingoistic kind of for me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, eh, I'm not going to so like, follow he did, this arc. He did a whole ass stream. Um, where he basically cried and literally about the Snake Island men that gave their lives and said "fuck uh, you" Russian warship. Dude, I knew I knew right away that was a bullshit story. I'm like, no, fuck. and so did this, I. This is like, so this so is did everybody Spielberg else. Spielberg shit. That's fucking. Give me a break. Everybody that's been through one of these American war campaign kind of media campaigns knows that type of bull. But like, he was he literally was like had tears in his eyes and shit was that he did a whole ass fucking like 45 minute video where he watched like five seconds at a time of this Ukrainian military recruitment. I mean, he was all in on this shit. Right. Yeah. And now the reality of the war in Ukraine and the kind of like gray nature of the war in Ukraine is starting to come to the forefront. And all of the sudden there's just this huge drama arc going on that allows him to like, now look at his channel. He doesn't have to do a, a, I was wrong about Snake Island, my dude. I was wrong about the war, my guy. I was wrong about the ghost of Kiev, my dude, because Ga Cat Black insulted my wee-wee, my guy. <laughs> I got to do a seven-hour stream about Cat Black insulting my wee-wee, dude. Hmm. I don't know. You don't think so? You, th you don't think there's any kind of element of fucking, like... You don't think that's a little TJ, bit fucking convenient, TJ? Oh, I wish convenient. my camera was on. TJ, look at me. It's a fucking work, convenient. dude. TJ, it's all oh, just too work. convenient. Watch the CIA plant, TJ. The fucking work, my friend. Don't fall it's for it. It's an op, dude. It's an op, bro. You fucking be an op, motherfucker. Come on, TJ. Use your fucking you brain. Pile that uh, third eye. See you know, the truth, TJ. Did you guys see that piece of uh, propaganda where there was that like super hot Ukrainian soldier chick who was like taking out tanks and shit? She's like, I love to like kill Russians and stuff. And I'm a badass. And she's like dressed like super skimpy and shit too. And it's like, this is totally not real. But I fucking was just like, you know what? I believe this one because I just choose to believe it. I want to believe it. Oh my God, dude. I, I, I made the mistake. Because the story is literally not true. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like completely. In, like go, go, go find a confirmed version of that story. <clears throat> I'll wait. Go find anything that leads to that story being true. Dude. I'll wait. It's because social so media, anyone that's savvy with like, that, you know, the Ukraine's an opportunity. It's right. a huge fucking opportunity. Well, I mean, look, in, during wartime, propaganda goes flying all over the place. And, and it's like, like, so you yes. got to just treat every fucking little story you hear with a gigantic pillar of fucking salt. You just be like, look, maybe that's true, but until it's no. fucking confirmed, until it's like survived the rigors of historical it's, it's examination. The, it's the naivety of uh, Zoomers, dude. We're just it, we're seeing it on full fucking display because, look, millennials did the same shit. So, Because, see, they think it's a bunch of boomers and older people saying the shit to them because, like, it's like, no, you guys are wrong. It's like, no, because we've already all been deceived. But the thing is, with a scam like this, you have to go through it to really believe it. You know what I mean? You, got, you, got, you just got to believe that the people behind you, like the fucking the last generation, they all just fucked it up. But you guys got to figure it out and you know what the fuck is going on. And they're just disillusioned assholes. I've but just you know seen what? the process of manufacturing consent for war amongst a populace, and it always goes like this. I get people that are typically anti-war and anti-imperialism and anti-American interventionalism all on board because this time the cause is, you it's know, just. pure and just. And, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let me tell you and, something. Uh, this, war, oh, this, this, time, this conflict, though, has produced one fucking hero that we can all look up to and say, you know what? Maybe the ghost of Kiev was bullshit. Maybe Snake Island was bullshit. <laughs> Maybe the hot Ukrainian chick with the short shorts and her ass hanging out blowing up Russian tanks was bullshit. Although I choose to believe it. Yeah, I believe that But one. you know what's <laughs> not bullshit? This great fucking hero right here. Oh my God, yes. Wow. An, an icon... Man. An icon for all of us. All fat people in the world now have a new uh, scion that we can all look to. Yes. This is the greatest man in human history. And right dude, here. this might make you mad because like, it looks like this guy's blocking the entrance, right? But you're going to see. So this, this is, is a, a Russian man who is protesting the sanctions against Russia, protesting the fact that the McDonald's has been closed because he, he's chained himself to the entrance of the McDonald's. Let's see what he has to say. It's not going to be in English, so. Mm -hmm. That guy. That guy just got McDonald's, too. He's kind of like, what are you talking about, bro? It's still open. I eat here every day, comrade. Breakfast? <laughs> Listen. Totalitarian government I can put up with. Living under dictatorship, I can put up with. But when they try to close down the McDonald's, that is when every Russian must take a stand. Yeah, dude, this guy, uh, he basically was just like, why must we Why must we lose our conveniences for this war? Yes. This is not, fuck Putin, fuck them all. Just leave Look McDonald's open. Look at me. I will not even be able to maintain this physique without McDonald's. It's true. In a year from now, I will be a thin version of myself. Gross. Man. Uh, <laughs> this dude right now is probably starving, guys. He's probably at home, like, making his own food. Instead says, of walking uh, up to his McDonald's. Russian handcuffed himself to enter McDonald's, addresses Western countries, tells them... They need to realize that the sanctions affect the lives of ordinary people. Why must we give up our habits? <laughs> they found Why? the flat, fattest guy. This in guy's got the habit of several shit. small people, dude, put into one uh, and together to one. Like this guy is probably the best customer of this McDonald's. I don't know why I thought there were no fat people in Russia because that's a really stupid thing to think. That is oh, real dude, dumb. Yeah, yeah it's Russia's really fucking on. stupid. Because like, you know, there's like, but you never see a fat Russian. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, it's not. Well, it's because there's. They're way more selective about who they allow to be an influencer and shit. You know what I mean? They got a little bit more of a, a finger on that. That's why the fat the fatties are suppressed in Russia, and th this just proves it, right? Yeah. I mean, look I mean, look at look at the this dude was probably had his fucking big fat arm sawed off, and he probably died mm -hmm. bleeding to death in a gulag <laughs> after this. You know, like he was just not he was had enough. He's gonna have his fucking McDonald's, you know or he's gonna die. And of course, you this know guy what's right funny? Says, uh, of course, the guy protesting <laughs> McDonald's closure and handcuffing him. Self to the store is the fattest motherfucker in Russia. That we know of. Yeah, he's not even close Dude, it's to the fattest. Up, man. There's a fat you underground. You can't do in this Russia. to people, man. This guy, you know what? It's kind of funny in Russia because, like, literally people have held up signs with nothing on them and been arrested quicker than this dude. <laughs> he just chained himself to McDonald's and just like well, that's who why cares? he chained himself up because he's like, you know, I'm gonna be an inconvenience to you. You can't just you can't just easily like load me up in the back of. The you car. know, at the same time, he's allowing he's access to, to the building. building. Yeah, so that's nice. Yeah, I mean, like, he ain't blocking access. These people could go by, past him, but they got to confront him to do it. <laughs> How much rise. more of the boot of oppression will we, will we accept, comrades? You know, I admire, you know, the other thing I admire about this guy, as fat as he is, he didn't bring a chair. Yeah, you know, he's standing. No. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's standing on his own. For this, I stand feet. up. <laughs> Think about it's, the strain those legs are under right now. I mean, he's definitely chained himself to something that's low enough that if he wanted to sit down and take a little rest, he could. Yeah, he definitely could. But could he get back up? I mean, that's the, that's the question. No. So, uh, yeah. Jussie Smollett, Smollett, whatever the fuck his name is. Juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. Yes, thank you. That's the proper pronunciation. Um, he, uh, <laughs> he was sentenced to like 150 days in county jail um, after, you know, staging those attacks against himself. And uh, that's some really interesting... He, things to say as he uh, as was sentenced. Okay. I am not. I'm going to turn this up. 
Yeah, it's a little yeah. low volume. I mean, it's definitely like not the best audio in the courtroom for this type right. of shit. Here, I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. Yeah, let's see if we can hear him. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of Black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect. Yeah, you, that's what you did, though. You actually did that, though. <laughs> I love how he makes like this big deal of like, I am not suicidal. Like, oh, dude, is he, no if he's going to be Epstein, come on, fucking, man. Yeah, like no one's trying to be like, all right, as soon as he goes in, kill him. Wow, like, not no a great actor that. before. And he's still a terrible playing actor the victim, after. dude. After yeah. all this time, he's learned nothing. He's just still up there playing the fucking victim. You want to know what I think, suicidal. dude? I am not suicidal. You want to know what I think might even be a possibility here? Because Juicy Smollier is a guy that, like, he cannot admit when he's wrong. He's a dude that's literally got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. You know what I mean? Elbow deep. Everybody knows he done did what he did. The evidence is just fucking incontrovertible. I mean, like, he literally hired dudes to be like, all right, beat the shit out of me. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, I mean, there's a whole, a whole you can look into it. There's a whole ass paper trail, and those people have flipped on him now, and all this shit, dude. It's just for, the whole story he told was a lie because the dudes that did this to him were black. He claimed that they were like maggot dudes. It, it was just a whole sordid affair. And I think this dude is going like, I'm not suicidal. So that when he goes into jail, he can commit suicide, and people will like think like he was Epstein. He's like, all right. Yeah. I'll kill like myself, this, this and they'll be like, Ooh. They framed him. Is this last oh, they yeah. framed him. Well, yeah, that's what I think that's setup. about. We'll see. I think no, Juicy is keeping his options open. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. See? And see? <laughs> see? See what I mean? <laughs> so when I Set hang myself up. in the cell, you will know that I was ultimately correct and that I was killed to silence the truth of how beautiful and wonderful and innocent and perfect I am. <laughs> like he's got it's an like, e it's like he's Nelson Mandela going away for 27 fucking years, dude. He's got 150 days, but you probably won't even do all of them. <laughs> Whatever, man. Look at his lawyer's exasperated ass face. I know. They're just like, no, nah, juicy. Oh, please shut up. Please shut up. Please shut up. Please shut up. <laughs> I love it. It'd be it'd be funny if he did hang himself trying to pull off this last ditch like ego save maneuver, and then they had like video of him actually doing it to himself. So it's just completely undermined. <laughs> yeah. Um that's the one time the cameras worked. It's like, oh yeah, shit, it's fake, bro. Here you can see Juicy Small Yay tying the rope around his neck and hanging himself off of his bunk. Everybody's just like, oh, God. God. caught him again. Ah, uh, yet again. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, you've got to be some kind of fucking crazy, like, uh, like super narcissist to be this red handed and still being like, no, man, <laughs> I'm happen. innocent. I don't know, dude. Yeah, you got to be fucking nuts. Oh, finally. Senate unanimously approves making daylight savings time permanent. OK, look, if I said the U.S. Senate is worthless, it's almost worthless, because if it actually does this, then good. The Senate on Tuesday approved a proposal to make daylight savings time permanent, which if passed in the House and signed by the pre by President Biden would mean Americans never again have to set their clocks back an hour and lose an hour of afternoon good. daylight in the fall or winter. If enacted into law, it would also mean the early risers lose an hour of daylight in the mornings in November, December, January, and fuck February. Em. Yeah, early risers can go fuck themselves. Who gives a shit? Bunch of yeah. you can you can wait for the sun another hour, you bitches. Yeah. Bitch ass motherfuckers. Quit waking up so goddamn early. Um, on the other hand, instead of the sun setting at four thirty-one in late December, it was set at five thirty-one, giving people a little more daylight to enjoy in the afternoon. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. And strangely so. <laughs> enough, Marco Rubio is who we have to thank for finally fucking perhaps killing this bullshit. Of I love how mess with this clock fucking shit all the time. I love how this minor inconvenience is the thing that you know the fucking uh, legislature can come together on and get fucking rammed through immediately. You know what I mean? Yep. Unanimously. <laughs> Like yeah. total, una totally unanimous, yeah. which just begs the question, like, why have we been doing this shit all this time in the first place? Like, couldn't, 
Shouldn't we have no just, one knows, dude. Shouldn't we have just been like a long time ago? Like, this is stupid. Can we please stop? And then they're just like, oh, yeah, it started because sure. you know what? I think it started in 1918. So it's like it's one of those things where people just did. And it's like, why don't we do this? I don't know. And we just keep doing it. You know, dude, it's like, what the fuck? I got red pilled on this fucking like 20 years ago when I moved to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, fuck, man, I got to set my clocks back. And somebody was like, no, you don't. That doesn't happen in Arizona. And I realized that it just could not happen in a state. And then all my friends and family, I used to lord it over them that, like, I don't even have to worry about that fucking shit. I live in Arizona. We grew up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just more about that. It's just the pointless exercise. I really don't care about having an extra hour of daylight or whatever the fuck. Like, daylight is not some precious commodity to me or whatever. But yeah. um, I do I, I do just like the streamlined, like, let's not fuck around with this. Yeah, anymore. I don't believe really we got to tinker with our fucking clocks and shit. I got to go reset my oven, reset my microwave. I mean, my phone and shit does it automatically, but there's a bunch of shit that has to be reset. And, like, sometimes it fucks with you because, like, it seems like there's always something that's, like, scheduled for the day afterwards that's going to be, like, I'm going to be inconvenienced somehow. I mean, it is a pretty minor inconvenience, to be fair, but, like, ugh, just get rid it of it. It was way it's worse. Like, it's, it's totally pointless, though. It was way worse back in the day when I was uh, when I was working like a nine to five ish type of job. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, when you do the whole spring forward, you lose a whole fucking hour. You know what I mean? Like it's like a whole hour of sleep, a whole hour of your day, blah, 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 blah. blah. And then when you, you know, fall back, you gain one and it just sucked. It just was always like just a pointless complication. Get rid of it. So yeah, I'm not, but I'm not gonna pat this Congress on the back for ramming through this ultimately meaningless <laughs> legislation when there's so much shit on the docket that they can't even get their heads out of their asses about. Yeah, I'm just glad to see some. I'm just glad it's gonna be a fucking thing of the past soon enough, and it's just gonna be like something you can like, like an old man about in the future. We used to have to set our clocks back an hour, and forward an hour, <laughs> twice a year. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, that's that's the perfect old man thing. So. Yeah, let's go stay away with it so we can all book our margins. Daylight time and standard time, and it was dude, confusing I'm all right. as fuck. Dude, it's a, it, like the age at which you become a doddering old person has been a fucking like pushed forward already. Like I'm already there. I'm forty plus now. Oh yeah, you're a total which means, Paul. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, that's you, the that's the thing. It's just like, uh, dude, and I catch myself doing it constantly, and it's just like I can't even fucking. I'm not even gonna stand in the way of it. I'm just like, you know, back in my day, we had to go rent a videotape. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. I'm constantly talking just, with I the did audience a back in about my day thing too. The other day, I was just like, I was on my Twitter and I was just like looking at this ratio shit. Ratio, ratio, ratio. I'm like, you know, back in my day, ratio was called uh, argumentum ad populum, and it was a bad thing. And people were like, fuck you, ratio. Of course, they got the Fuck you, ratio. I mean, yeah. see, like, I don't know. Why do you Why do you participate in that Twitter shit, TJ? I love Twitter. It's just a cesspool. It's my kind of cesspool, man. It's just my it's kind of cesspool. garbage. Yeah. It's just garbage. It's, it's total, like an it's open sewer trash. over there. I know. That's just like, I don't know. I like to take a big old whiff of the fucking uh, the sewer gas. Like, I like to drive by every uh, once in a while and remind myself, like, why I don't do it. But I don't, I couldn't imagine, like, setting up shop in there. A whole, saturating like, myself in the like your whole, culture. Your whole night last night was consumed with, like, f like popcorning that drama between Cat Black and Vosh. Vosh and ContraPoints oh, yes. and, like, everyone else is, like, Vosh shit. In. Oh, fruity. Mm. Ooh, whoa. Oh, and I a was watching Vosh's this time. stream where he was banning everybody, but then he fucking brought on some fucking I don't know, dude with a really annoying voice, and I was like, ugh, get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to listen to this other guy. Um, But yeah, fuck Daylight Saving Time is gone. New Secret Service report details growing incel terrorism threat. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -oh. Gotta watch out, dude. The, the blue out. balls are, Cells are coming. Dude, the incel, the incels should have like a whole paramilitary aesthetic or whatever the fuck. Like they need to get like a like a cool patch with a like a big old pair of saggy blue balls or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> or a dude like bat doing the bat wing with his ball sack or something. Yeah, and they're blue. The Ew, blue bat wing yeah. brigade. Like I, I've been, dude. These people have been simmering for a long time, and um. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. Like, how do you? How do you? How do you deal with 
<clears throat> this problem, like the incel problem. You can't talk them out of it. So dude, I don't know, sex man. Robots, like, dude. Sex we, robots. I I hate to say it, but you do solution or, or some solution. AI to, to give them like the life they want where they can pretend just in some virtual reality because uh as far as a group of people like trying to talk to them, we did an episode on incels and it was just nothing but like you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't. You don't get it. Don't. And it's like, okay, here's uh, here's me trying to be empathetic to an incel. Fuck you. I don't want empathy. Here's me shitting on an incel. You don't understand me. It's like I don't really know what the fuck you do with that. I think they're just like whiny, like perpetual victim types, where like no matter what you do, they're just gonna be like, no, I'm powerless. They're just never delayed. It's like, well, maybe if you did this, no. Okay. You don't yeah. actually want yeah, to get like, laid. I don't you know just, what you do with that. They don't want I mean, to get laid. They want to bitch about not being able to get laid. It's it, actually it, it, it's, it's literally like, more literally the most important thing to them is having their in seldom. So well, I, I actually think here's what it's tied to, in my opinion. Okay. You know, we're the instant like we're living in the instant gratification age. Yeah. And a lot of these right. incel guys are people that were kind of born at a time where you could just order something from Amazon and within 24 hours it's sitting on your fucking porch. And you know what I mean? Like and so, like, they, they think that that applies to human relationships as well. Because if you really look at a lot of these dudes' lives, they're expecting, like, a piece of ass to just fall out of the sky into their childhood bedroom. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? And that's never how it works, ever. And instantly might, be in love. You know what I mean? Like, yes, we're in a deep, committed relationship within 24 hours. <laughs> I hate to tell incels this, but I probably came the closest that any other human being has come to having that that type of virginity loss i had a chick just like show up at my fucking you know i was still living at home i was still 18 years old still just in, like hadn't even finished up high school yet she showed up fucked me so i i didn't realize it at the time but i was a very lucky guy it's probably not gonna happen to you but she probably Maggie. wouldn't have fucked <laughs> She probably wouldn't have fucked me had I not like talked to her first. But yeah, no, it is a back in my day thing. Like that's 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 part of the problem here is like all these all these issues that young people face just require learning from people who've also been through them, but they don't want to because people that have already been guys, through that are stupid. See, you motherfuckers who are just telling me to get a horror or something, you don't understand the incel brain. They don't oh, want no, a horror. No, no, they no, want no. some. They want some like trad con 1950s like wife like jane jane cleaver is that i am name? subservient to yeah, you in all want, ways they want some like like long like never actually existed except for in fiction sort of like idealistic sort of american want life and they feel wives, like it's been stolen they from them they want some. they want like they basically want like a fantasy to be a reality is what they want like they want, they want basically like a ten, and they're like a three, and they're going like, "Hey, why isn't this working out the way I expected?" It's like because there's everything being equal. Like you, what you want is unequal by society standards. The reason that like people are very attractive, or it's gonna be hard for someone who's a three to obtain unless they're like a billionaire, is or really rich or well off or super charismatic or something. Like if you're none of those things and you're just expecting someone that's not going to sleep with you to sleep with you and then being disappointed. Uh, you know, a, a lot of these guys too, it's like, well, this girl's interested in me, but she's not, she's not hot enough. She doesn't meet my standards. So I'm just going to be an incel still. And of course they yeah. always, uh, so here, here's a, uh, they're, they're focusing on this case of this uh, dude that shot up this yoga studio. Uh, yeah. Right. Scott Paul. Beer, oh. Whatever. He's a if his name was Scott Paul TJ. It'd be all of us. <laughs> oh yeah. Scott Paul TJ. There we go. <laughs> Uh, there were countless warning signs. Uh, the man who opened fire inside hot yoga Tallahassee, killing two women and injuring four more before committing suicide, had previously been fired from multiple teaching jobs, barred from bars and apartment buildings, and authored a 70,000-word revenge fantasy about a boy-turned-serial killer, according to the report. During his teen years, the attacker was accused of stalking his classmates, and he wrote stories that centered around violent themes, said Steve Driscoll, lead research specialist at NT. You know, I wonder, I wonder why I wonder why I never got any pussy with that act, bro. <laughs> Gee, yeah. yeah. How, head scratcher. Dude, yeah, how's this guy a victim? This guy sounds like a predator, if we um, want to be honest here. One of the stories was predatory. 81 pages long involved the protagonist murdering several girls before committing suicide. The female oh, characters in the shocking. story that were killed represented the attacker's actual classmates from his high school, but he slightly changed the names. In this writing, 
So he basically wrote this like self insert, you know, and then he went to Bimberly and you know, fucking uh, he was arrested three times for incidents groping women in public. Uh, his roommate called him Ted Bundy, although social media users referred to him as a Nazi. Oh, just as Nazi, not a Nazi. Just, they just right. called him Nazi. Uh, his parents reported sleeping with their door locked and removing him from his niece's birthday party after he touched young girls. On the day of the shooting, uh, B- Birel uh, uploaded a self-written song entitled Fuck Em All, describing his frustration with personal failures to a public music-sharing website online. Before departing for the yoga studio, he left a note behind reading in part... If I can't find one decent female to live with, I will find many indecent females to die with. What a fucking loser, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. What, what a fuck is wrong with piece of shit. Like that. Oh, my God. Is that, is that the dude there, yeah. too? The young no, brother? no, no, no. There's someone there. It's got to be. No, that's him. That's him? No, it's not. I thought this was I like the so. judge. No, you're right. Daniel Enderell. Yeah, this is not him. I think this is him, though, up here. This guy? Yeah, I believe that is him. Yeah. You know, look at him here. Yeah, what's, his... New details what's his about problem? What's who opened fire in a Florida yoga studio, killing two people. Mm-hmm. Scott Paul Beerley was known to tell... He's doing a what fucking is that face? duck face here. He looks like a he looks like a pro wrestler cutting a promo in his fucking shot, dude. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Yeah, what is this? What is this expression? Here's Manuel Bohorquez. Apparently, he was I'm seven duck foot six. Domino. Why would you put his photo in front of like a you know like a you know I mean like this seems like you would want to cut him out and like make I don't know whatever. Another sanctuary pierced by gunfire when a man stormed into a Tallahassee, Florida yoga studio Friday night, killing two women. 21-year-old Maura Binkley was a Florida State University student. 61-year-old Nancy Van Vessem was a professor at the school's College of Medicine. Police say 40-year-old Scott... (laughs) What the fuck, dude? I wonder why this guy was not... Women were just not lining up to be with him. Can't figure it out, man. <laughs> that tickled TJ's funny bone, bro. I got him. I got him good. TJ, are you okay? <laughs> TJ, are you okay? This is stupid fucking face. <laughs> He does, does he make that fucking face? Dude, he, he does, does, dude. He looks like a bargain basement Kurt Angle or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Like he's about to cut oh, like a backyard and wrestling the promo. Thing is, oh, this dude does. This dude could totally get laid. There's nothing. No. <laughs> There's yeah. Even fucking that. Fucking oh, Jesus. I mean, he's not even like a disgusting, <sighs> pimply, balding blob or anything. No, it's, like, it's his personality. Yeah, it's he 100%. just obviously has like a total fail personality and like. The fact that he thinks this is like the face to make to look cool or whatever is just like fucking... Paul Beerley shot six people and pistol whipped another man in the attack at Hot Yoga, Tallahassee. The Army veteran died after he turned the gun on himself. That several people inside thought that. Well, the important thing is tra- that we gave him military training, right? <laughs> what a fucking loser, man. Tried to not only save themselves, but other people. Oh, hey, Baron. Guy's a real fucking loser, man. Wow, what are you doing? I ain't seen we ain't seen you in a while around here. Oh, who's that? Who are you? TJ. You remember me? You, you know who my dad is? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Don't forget it. Former president. Former president. Yeah. whatever, man. Former president. Whatever, man. Whatever. Oh, You're one of those conspiracy theorists. <laughs> oh shit. I want to talk about it, Baron. I mean, you get in trouble on YouTube, you talk about it. This guy, man, this fucking guy you guys are covering though. What a fucking loser, bro. Yeah, you don't like him? Hell no, dude. What's your what's your complaint? What's your grievance? Like, doesn't he like he didn't try anything to get pussy? Like he didn't try like pulling up in his expensive sports car that his dad bought him. Yeah, he didn't try yeah. like you know using his influence and like you know he didn't even try like any of the standard stuff like, like slipping a chick a roofie at a party or whatever you know. Yeah, but wait, you can't you can't do that, Baron. That's, what? Oh, Baron, well, that's I can't I can't fucking do you that. Can't, you oh, can't really? do that. That's not says yeah, that's, who? 
I'm not like the law, I guess. You know who my fucking dad is, bro? All oh, right. Yeah. He is the law, bro. So I mean, he was. Shut up. He's not president anymore. Your dad is Judge Dredd? Fuck, okay. He's temporarily not president, bro. He's about to be reinstated. Dude, haven't you followed any of the fucking blogs, bro? Oh, I guess no. not. John F. Kennedy is going to drop off of a fucking alien spaceship in the middle of De Dealey Plaza, and he's going to fucking, like, and Gandhi's going to show up, and they're both going to go, like, Donald Trump is the real president, y'all, 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 you know, whatever, and they're going to do the thing, and then everybody's going to, like, and then it's right. going to be fucking reinstated, bro. This is satire, by the way. Fucking YouTube, don't take this down. <laughs> yeah, me, uh, yeah. I'm not Man, really the, Baron Trump. All and I, content is satire. <laughs> That's you're, not, you're really not really Baron, Baron Trump. Trump. It's all a no, joke. It's all it. a joke. All right, I think we're covering our ass there. Um, got a few like stories here from uh, cannabis and shit. Whoa, Starbucks cannabis. Uh, no, this is a uh, Starbucks is actually planning to uh, phase out its iconic cups. This is uh, this seems like doomed to failure to me, by the way. I don't think they're actually going to pull do? this off. Uh, they're basically trying to get rid of uh, cups, like temporary cups from their entire company. Uh, you know, they're like because it's like a. I mean, it is a symbol still, yeah. of a throwaway society. See right there. Um, uh, see, see I, I like I like the sentiment, but it's a giant corporation, so it's gonna be some perverse answer. So uh, they're gonna try to do um, a recycling program. Some okay, it's a perverse answer. Thank you. That's because <laughs> the cups are disposable. When they're thrown away, they end up in landfills as litter or streets walking. Some might be recyclable, but recycling is an imperfect option. Recyclable items still fill up landfills. The best solution: eliminating the disposable cup. Yeah, call the option the Holy Grail. By twenty twenty five, Scotty. <laughs> By 2025, <laughs> the company wants every customer to be able to either use their... Look, giant. I hate to break this to everybody, but these giant companies constantly set these ambitious environmental goals for like 2025, 2030, 2035, 2040, and they never meet them, and no one ever holds them accountable. So they just like, you know, they get good publicity because they fucking make this announcement... Listen, guys, by 2025, no more disposable cups. And then they don't do it. And no one ever is like, hey, Starbucks, you didn't well, fucking dude, do it. There is a be like, chain. Oh, we're going to do it still, but this time we're going to do it by 2030. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. I mean, uh, there's actually a place around you called Your Tea that does this already. Mm -hmm. You basically pay, pay a deposit or you, pay, or you buy a glass bottle and when you bring it in or bring it back to get more tea, they just swap it out with a new one. Yeah, I mean, that is fully a fucking PR stunt. Uh, they made a big push to try and do this back in the day. I remember when I was working there, they came out with these really cheap cups that you could buy. And they were, you know, in the different sizes or whatever the fuck. So that they, their thought was like, we're trying to get everybody to buy their own cup and bring their own cup and stuff. And I'd say like probably one out of a, every 100 regular customers bought one. So it didn't, it, it, it's just to sell more shit. Yeah, I mean, this is like, it's a nice little cheap publicity stunt, but it's not really going to do anything. Um, Florida man. Even if it does, even yes. if it does, it's fucking too late. Yeah. It's too late. It's too little too late, dude. Getting rid of all Starbucks cups is not going to stop the world from burning. Sorry. It's just a gesture that comes about fucking 25, 30 years too late. But you know, and, Paul, uh, Every little bit helps. Yeah, yeah. Every, little true. Every little bit helps. <laughs> that, that is true. You know, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's like, hey, you know, maybe uh, I mean, if you have a whole lifetime actions. of sloth and indolence, yeah. eating a piece of broccoli is not going to change anything, but it could be the first step on a journey towards recovery. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Be positive, TJ. Yeah. I'm, see, I'm, now, a, this I'm guy, optimistic. Look, I'm not a doomer like Paul. I'm a, I'm a happy guy. You know, ironically, uh, right. for this story, I guarantee you this guy will get his wish. This one here? Yeah. Florida man calls 911 have his meth tested for authenticity. Yeah, because I mean, when yeah. they arrest him, they got to make sure it's actually meth, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it'll go to the crime lab. He'll he'll have the answer to that question. Do we have the audio of this guy doing this? No, I hope really so. stupid bullshit. God damn it. Oh, man. They, they should <laughs> have to release all these 911 calls. Yeah, like, we should definitely be able to hear this. I want this guy, I want to hear this guy, like, 911, what is your emergency? Oh uh, yeah, I got all this. Um, I mean, I think it's meth, but like, I'm not really sure. 
<laughs> like, I mean, I know you got like a crime lab and stuff. Could you guys like test this meth to see if it's real or whatever? Um, cause uh, yeah, I could really like uh, you know, dude, they've got those like testing re- reagents that the cops will do it right there to make sure that what they found is like cocaine or meth or whatever. That probably was calling bullshit, them, though. He was probably calling them to have them do that. You come <laughs> see if the, my meth turns pink. <laughs> the fucking dude, idiot. It's like there's some sort of cost where someone like reports like they like someone ripped them off for crack or something like they didn't sell me crack. It's like, why are you telling the police, dude? There's just some things you don't do. Uh, I feel like so- this is on the same level as those people who called 911 like <laughs> in the drive through because the drive through is too slow or they didn't get their chocolate shake or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually there. I had a nine one one call that I almost pulled for this show, but I genuinely thought it was probably too disturbing to play. I thought it would be like too depressing for even like us to go through. But what was it? It was like this like twelve year old calling because her dad was beating the shit out of her mom. Oh, and, wow. uh, it was but, like, uh, yeah. That? And then I was uh, just not- <laughs> well, no, I mean, like Go and it just goes on and on, and she's like, "He's hitting her, he's doing this, he's doing that." She's describing all the shit he's doing. You hear all this crazy shit going on in the background. Oh, that's horrible. And then like they get in the car, he's not letting him get in the car, and then like he's grabbing onto the car, and then she's like, "Oh my god, my dad is dead! My dad is dead! My, just, what happened? Your mom run over your dad? She's not on purpose. His dad, and his dad is fucking dead." And the fucking call just gets crazier and crazier. Oh, and I'm man, like, you know, yeah. this this is probably too disturbing for, for no, even this show. Yeah. I don't <laughs> It's no. just like it is fucked up. It just but, seems uh, like I mean, yeah, it, it it's intriguing, but I don't know, man. Yeah, it's fucking crazy though. <laughs> That's kind of see, disturbing for most I, I, I know because we can't really watch it, but you it, like did you guys see the um that fucking the trailer for that new Jordan Peele movie? Yeah. Nope. 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 Dude. Did you see that little alien in the background of that fucking thing? Yeah, I, I'm actually kind of like stoked to check it out. He sucked me in with, he, dude, he's a, I, I tell you what, Jordan Peele, I think his true calling is making trailers. Yeah, because that trailer, well, I don't know. Because look, I mean, like he's like made two movies and one was good and one sucked. So like this is to me is like, this to me is the one that's going to figure out which one of those was the fluke. Because I yeah. don't count the fucking, I don't count the Twilight Zone against him because like whatever, he just got... He got roped into a well, shitty gig on man, that one. You wa- man, you reviewed that trailer. I mean, actually, I mean, we're actually putting that out soon. Uh, but at first, we're like, nope, uh, Jordan Peele. But at the end of it, we're kind of like, uh, more like, yep. When I saw yeah, the fucking, we'll when I saw the little alien behind the countertop that I missed like the first 50 times I watched that trailer. Like, I was like, oh, shit. There's like a fucking gray back there. That thing is coming. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, there's fuck. some little, there's a bunch of little flashes of weird monsters and mm-hmm. like Lovecraftian looking shit going on. So I don't know. It may like he, he is really good though. I will tell you every, like his movies, you say what you want. Like, I think get out is really good. I think that them or us, us. was it us or them as us. I can't yeah. remember. There's another show. There's like a show with a similar name and it's yeah. like confusing. It was us. Yeah. That, but that the trailer for us was top tier. Oh, yeah, Man, this, I was super this, hyped for it. And then when I saw the movie, I was like, I literally knew the twist of the movie within, like, five minutes. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. But whatever. Um, North Carolina woman fights to keep her fart license plate. Fuck yeah, dude. Fight for your Let's rights. See, is this story actually about it? Why is it all unique? Fun? personalized license plate. It is. And she went on Jimmy Kimmel last night to talk about it. Jimmy Kimmel? Why the fuck do I have to suffer through Jimmy Kimmel for oh, this? Oh, man, that's fucked up. Well, it's not Jimmy Fallon. Hey, is it Jimmy Fallon? It's Jimmy Kimmel. It's Kimmel. Kimmel, they I know, said Kimmel. I know, but I'm saying, but like, it could be worse. It could be Jimmy Fallon. You oh, say. yeah, I guess that, you know, you're right. Yeah, he, it, he, and then- that does make Jimmy Kimmel a little easier to tolerate, just telling myself, like, just keep repeating yourself. At least it's not Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah, that see? is true. Jimmy Fallon surprise, is the bottom of the barrel, weeks. Jimmy. Yeah, that's the lowest oh, of the Jimmy's. Without a, without a doubt. Weeks later, it went out to the mailbox, and there it was. I was so excited. And here it Yo, is. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Carly Cindy of Asheville says the DMV approved the plate and then sent her a letter saying they got some complaints about it. They offered her a chance to explain why the plate had personalized meaning for her. She and some online... That's personalized meaning because it's the word fart and it's funny. It's funny, dude. What the hell? Who yeah, cares? Who cares? Like, you have to have some kind of deep meaning now to get a vanity plate. Yeah, like, what? Oh, well, you got to prove it means something to you. 
All right, well, my dad calls me a little fart when I was a kid, and it reminds me of him. There you go. And he's dead now, so you're causing me pain. Uh, you should offer to trade line. up. You should offer to trade them. Like, all right, uh, you can have my fart plate, but you got to give me cunt. What is this? It looks like she started Friends of Asheville Recreational Club. So she started a club called Fart to oh my justify God. the existence of her plate. That's fantastic. I love give it. this woman, <laughs> give this woman a medal and give her a fart plate back. You bitch ass state, whatever. Yeah, North I don't think Carolina. I don't think they've won against her. So yeah, she's got it. They can't take it. Yeah, they can't take your fucking plates. Cannabis company confronts history of war on drugs by growing marijuana inside a prison. What? Sal. What? Halfway between San Francisco and Los Angeles, baking in the 100-degree heat of the Central Valley, a former prison is in the midst of an unlikely second act. Inside its cinder block walls, a company is growing the very product that led some of some prisoners to be locked up there. Which, I don't know, if I was a prisoner back there, like, you know, 25, 30 years ago or something, like, locked up on marijuana charges, that would not be, like, a comforting thought to me. <laughs> Yeah, you're 15 years into a 25 year bid for like growing a bunch of weed, and they're like, "Hey, man, your your job is now to grow weed." You're like, <laughs> what "Oh the fuck. fuck!" Longtime music manager Dan Dalton and Casey Dalton, his sister, bought the 20 acre site in 2016 for 4.1 million, choosing the location because its dry and sterile environment would provide a secure place to store marijuana. The purchase also allowed their cannabis company Evidence. It just keeps. <laughs> and others that have bought shuttered prisons to come face-to-face with the lasting effects of the war on drugs, particularly on people of color, as they try to shape the role of the industry will play in confronting that legacy, blah, 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 blah. It's just a little iron. They it's a little irony for you. There you go. They really called their their companies called evidence. evidence. I feel mm -hmm. like they're just rubbing it in, pot, like, weed uh, prisoners' faces. You know they're what I mean? All, they're confronting the history of the drug war. Oh, my God. They're well, confronting whatever. it. Yeah, this is just publicity for their company. That's all this is. So I did want to let you guys know, you know, um, the news is free. We do have, uh, for $50, terrible BuzzFeed quizzes. $100, Crazy Cops Part 1. For $200, <sighs> Douchebags, Dipshits, and Karens. For $300, Crazy Cops Part 2. For $400, we'll enter the Shapiro Zone, where we'll watch a conversation between <laughs> Ben Shapiro and Bill Maher. And uh, we also have a $500 film director tier list. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, donate via Streamlabs or um, uh, YouTube um, Super Chats or whatever, we when we meet those goals, those uh, levels become unlocked. Uh, the Streamlabs link should be down below, I believe. Let me make sure that's there, actually. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so man accused of hiding in woman's attic secretly films filming her after meeting on OnlyFans. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Mauricio Damien Guerrero, 20, from Ben Salem, or Ben Salem, was arrested and charged with four counts of burglary, according to the uh, Summersworth Police Department. A Pennsylvania man is accused of breaking into a New Hampshire woman's home and hiding out in her attic after they met through her OnlyFans account, according to police. Mauricio Damien. Oh, What's up, Scotty? I'm just the story, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? I thought someone just broke in your house. Mauricio oh, no. My, my, dude, my only fans creep. That, that happened a couple weeks ago. We already got rid of him. Cool. Uh, ben Slim was arrested and charged four... We, we already said that. Authorities said Guerrero allegedly broke into the woman's summer... Wait, how many times do I have to hear he broke in? It he broke in. In the headline, he broke in. It's in SEO, the summary, dude. he broke in. In the first paragraph, SEO. it mentions him breaking into her house. In the second paragraph, it says breaking he's been charged in. with burglary and breaking and entering and shit. And this one, it says, allegedly broke in. Like, how many times I got to tell how many times he broke in? Yeah, I get it. He broke in, motherfucker. Yeah. Woman who has a young child told police that she had noticed odd things happening around the house in the days leading up to Guerrero's arrest. According to the affidavit, she said that a downstairs window had been left slightly open and a door near the kitchen had been left open. So dude's just living in, her, in this chick's attic because he's, like, obsessed with her on OnlyFans. Uh, the woman also said uh, her keys had disappeared from the counter and then reappeared as she was looking for them. The woman told police that she had brushed it off as she was just busy, the affidavit says. The woman said she met Guerrero through her OnlyFans account and gave him her address because he said he wanted to buy her a television and a fi and fireplace. Uh, <laughs> she said he seemed nice at first and told police that, he didn't, that she did not want to meet him, but he was very pushy. The woman described one incident where Guerrero allegedly 
waited in his car outside her home, according to the affidavit. She told police that uh, he said he would sometimes sleep in his vehicle outside her home. Yeah, he probably should have had him arrested at that point. Yeah, this guy's a stalker. Uh, During another encounter, Guerrero allegedly told the woman to look out her window because he was waiting on the sidewalk, the affidavit says. The woman said she let him inside because she did not know what else to do. Um... I don't several other things. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, That's the opposite uh, of what I don't you know. should do. Well, Bobby's freaked fucking, out because wait, if a I'm, creepy stalker shows up your house like, I'm here. Letting them in is probably the very last thing on the list also, of things you should do. Uh, a P.O. box or a, or a mailbox that's not associated with your home. Yeah. I mean, don't give random dudes your address. He seemed nice at happens. first, though, Scotty. At first, he seemed nice. Remember yeah, of course. Nice? Is that, is that how it always goes? They seem nice. Then they killed him. <laughs> you know, it's like he seemed you nice can't... right up until the moment he murdered me. Yeah, like people have uh, ulterior motives. You can't just take people at face value and be like, "This person has uh, nothing but good intentions towards me and is my friend." I'm your friend, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit? Well, also, guy? I mean, look, it's an OnlyFans, dude. I mean, you know what he wants. <sighs> I want to buy no you a fireplace. Wants, I want to buy you right? stuff, please. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do People it. People that it. No well, one you know, needs your, it's, like, it's 2022. No one needs your fucking address to buy you something anymore, okay? Exactly. Like, that's not a thing anymore. You don't need to give anyone on OnlyFans your address unless you're, like, seriously planning on, like, having a relationship with them or something, which is, yeah, want, don't do that. I just, I just wanted to feel closer to you, baby. Just like when I saw you, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't be away. I'm in love. I so to I thought to myself, head. like, what kind of crazy romantic thing would Romeo do for Juliet? Yeah, I mean that, that dude, that ball's got a set of nuts on it. So I mean, it probably do a lot. So I dressed all in black, got my best knives together, I crept up your fucking wall, snuck into your attic window at night. I watched you while you were pooping, <laughs> sleeping. Wow, man, bro. That is pretty yeah. romantic, though. You got to admit. It is. I mean, like, he definitely was love at first sight. Nobody can deny that. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty romantic when you really think about it, you know? Like, you got mm. to remember that shit. Dude, he's the ultimate All simp, dude. Bitch's attic. Instead of paying for the bath water or whatever, he just waited for her to take a bath. You know, then he just ju- the ninjas way in. <laughs> Get, that, get, get a drink, head back to his attic. Oh, why does yeah. Paul sound natural with that? I mean, I've we've all <laughs> fucking <laughs> come on, in guys. Like, come look, on. I mean, you mean to tell me, like, I mean, like, we're all a little bit older now. We're in our fucking like 30s and 40s here, but you know, the uh, but you know, in our youth, you know, there was times when you know we we had we were smitten with a lady, and you know, you 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 hide in her attic for a few days. Yeah, you, know? you, you break into her house so you can be closer to her. You know, right. oh, you're I mean, in the like, attic who right hasn't now, done you? that? Like, who among us hasn't right done now. it at Come least on. a couple of times? Come yeah. on. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Don't be chat. so fucking judgy, y'all. Come on. Um, update. DA investigation continues after Fresno's police uh, sergeant's drug robbery arrest. Cool. Oh, shit. Uh, a sergeant who has worked for the Fresno Police Department for nearly 20 years has been arrested on suspicion of DUI, drug possession, and robbery. Police Chief Paco Baldarama and Fresno County District Attorney Lisa Smitkamp on Wednesday morning outlined the case through the uh, case against Sergeant Donald Donnell, who's worked for the department since 2003. Uh, He was arrested after he was involved in a crash in his police cruiser in a drug test found him positive for fentanyl, Um, according to uh, Baldarama. Uh, Dinell acquired methamphetamines laced with fentanyl by taking it from a woman in a suspected robbery earlier on the, uh, the day of his crash. Uh, so this guy is, you know, like a lot of cops actually do this. Uh, they steal drugs from suspects and then use them themselves. It's not. Oh, he's an idiot, dude. It's not super uncommon. Using it on duty is kind of stupid. Nearly 20 years, TJ. So this guy is like, which probably gonna get this big ass, ass hair away from his pension. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> What a fucking moron, dude. If, yeah. you did, if you did this a year later, he could just been like, I retire. <laughs> you know what I mean? So maybe they're going to keep him on there because it says, as of today, he is employed. There is a protocol and process for termination, which we intend to follow. Yeah, they so, want to fire him. I mean, it's clear. I mean, they definitely want to fire him, but maybe they're trying to get him to his pension out of like 
you know, code blue, no, code I doubt blue, it. Whatever the they fuck. save money, they save money, and it, and it, it's fired for a good cause. I mean, like we're we're with cause because I mean he was fucking high on the job. I mean, come on. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I mean, this is cops we're talking about, though. Like you know, <laughs> he might he, he might not be well liked. I mean, because think about that. If cops really wanted to cover up for this dude, they could have covered this shit up already. I wish the fucking cops cameras had followed this guy around, just like snorting <laughs> fucking fentanyl all day. And Dude, you just give me an idea for a reality show. Drug cops. Not cops <laughs> not cops that are on the prowl for, you know, drug dealers, but like cops that are on drugs, dude. Yeah. This week we go with alcoholic cop Alex Ramirez as he drinks and drives his way to police dominance. You know, he's just all sloppy drunk. Show him, like, abusing his authority to gaffle people out of their money and shit. Shows up, like, at the scene of a domestic violence call. He's like, so you got drunk and hit her? What's the fucking problem here? Sounds, you know, yeah. sounds good to me. I love it. It's one of the only like, look, you wanna, I can look the other way. You want to beat your wife, that's fine. But I'm going to need 500 bucks to score some more fentanyl and meth. I mean, shit, come on. Is that fentanyl cooking that I smell? Cops don't have to pay mm. for drugs. Cops just steal drugs. Make this all go away. Just give me your stash. Oh, hell yeah. Somebody should do it. Dirty cops, dude. Like mm -hmm. the cops that are all abusive and fucking on the take. I'd love it. Yeah, man. At least you'd see the truth. <laughs> Just give them like immunity. Like any cop featured on this show, you got to show us your like real self. But like, you know, <laughs> you total immunity from prosecution for anything we film. We just want people to see what the fuck you're really like. Dude, <laughs> this fucking headline right here. Disgraced producer Harvey Weinstein caught smuggling milk duds in jail, dude. Does a smuggling milk dud sound like some kind of euphemism for oh? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something involving poop. I don't know what, but or sounds... getting or getting rammed in the yeah. pooper or something. Dude, Harvey Weinstein is so fucking rich, he can basically pay a lawyer thousands of dollars to smuggle them in milk duds. The candy yeah, was found it. during a search on November 10th after Weinstein had a face-to-face -face meeting with Sean Berkeley, one of his attorneys. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh oh did Sean Berkeley sneak Weinstein milk duds? He did. <laughs> Weinstein is not allowed to have milk duds. He's Gotta a monster. Gotta eat it during the fucking meeting, dude. Milk duds are for good moral people, not monsters like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Damn, um, he got busted. For and now look, it says that the guards are gonna like have to search at the whole person of his attorneys now when they come in. No, oh, have to shit. check their check their legal papers and stuff to make sure they don't have any fucking milk duds stuffed in there. All right, Mister Attorney, spread your butt cheeks. Go to check for the milk duds. Oh, I think I found <laughs> one. Oh, nope, that's just a turd. <laughs> dude milk duds of all the things to get busted for dude skittles i can understand but milk duds come hey, you on. know he's an old-fashioned guy paul he's an old man you know weinstein apologized for the incident who the fuck are you wait who the fuck is he apologizing to <laughs> like the, the no court. one wait, literally no one on the face of the earth is harmed by harvey weinstein eating milk duds in his fucking prison cell okay i mean that's not that's not necessarily true because think is. about it a whole a whole legal proceeding has started mm -hmm. so he's wasting the court's time the court yep. could be dealing the court the court could be the dealing with something be fucking with this shit to begin with well but. see the the reason that this is important it's not really like it's not looked at as this was milk dud, milk duds it was contraband something right. got into the prison that shouldn't be there so whether it's milk duds or fucking heroin they have to treat it Seriously, prison, prisons are Swiss cheese. All kinds of shit gets in there. Drugs get in there. Weapons get right. in there. Right, but when somebody gets it's caught doing it, goods. give me a break. When somebody gets caught doing it, they've wasted the fucking court's time and everybody's that's involved time and shit. And they should have to fucking apologize for that because we pay the bill for all that shit. Our our fucking exorbitant yeah. taxes like, go to that. I feel like when they find milk duds, it should be like this is contraband. Just throw it in the trash, and that's it. He should have to. He, no, no, he should have to apologize to us for it. Uh, no, really, should, the court should have to apologize to us for wasting their fucking time and resources on a fucking milk dud investigation. Because who gives a shit? I don't care. The milk duds I don't next care time if the, the fat meeting. motherfucker has milk duds in his cell. He's going to be dead. You know what, week. TJ's got diabetes, cardiac issues, sleep apnea, and I promise, man. We're all fucking footing the bill. Yeah. He needs yep. to be on a fucking diet. <laughs> Put that the, fucking man on a well, diet. Well, you know what? If he eats enough milk, if he's got uh, bad diabetes and shit, we should be fucking force-feeding the motherfucker milk does, and then he's just dead, and then we don't have to worry Cutting about it him anymore. up like foie gras. Yeah. 
why aren't they allowed milk duds in jail? It probably like honestly, if you want my honest speculation about it, it's probably because of how much milk duds could be like easily like um, you could fashion a milk dud into a shank or something, you know. Well, no, you could like you, you could like really take hard some, ones, you know. <laughs> if you have if, if ever if every inmate was walking around with a pocket full of milk duds, you could you could easily like take some of that chocolate, melt it, wrap it around a little sandwich baggie filled with heroin, and get away with fucking dealing, you know, or moving around heroin and shit. So there's very selective about what they allow in the commons commissary for inmates, and it probably has some rationale like that behind it. Dude, this is fucking awesome. Polk County teacher accused of biting two students over jar of pickles. Fuck yeah, dude. She what the fuck is going them? on? She bit them. She, she needed those em. pickles, dude. A Polk County teacher is facing misdemeanor battery charges over allegations oh, she bit two students over a jar of pickles. The teacher, Rhonda Rice, told administrators she was playing around with students, uh, according to Polk County uh, public school spokesperson. I think she needs to learn what she did and what she did was wrong. Wait, I think she needs to learn what she did and what she did was wrong. That doesn't make sense. Uh, it's Kathy Toro. Toro said she contracted, contacted eight on your side after months passed without any action taken. Toro's 15-year-old nephew is a student at Bartow Middle School. Wait, 15-year-old at middle school? That's kind of weird. Yeah, uh, he said in October, old. he and another student were working at the school store when uh, Rice tried to take a jar of pickles. Her nephew and another student tried to take the jar back. She just bit them on a forearm. Of course, they released, and she was able to get the pickles, but there's other ways to do that, said Toro. She bit both of their forearms simultaneously? Ma yeah, you know how that is. What is this even like? What is... I don't even know, man. The story is... Uh, I don't know. I feel like even if she did it was and she did lick them, I don't believe she did. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Me, this is AI written bullshit. This is a stupid story. I don't even know this what's fucking going retarded, on with this. This is fucking retarded, man. This is some fucking petty shit between these students and they hate this teacher. Yeah, uh, this like, is crazy this parent syndrome. And it sounds like somebody made up a, a fucking tale so that they could get some attention and shit. Because I, I tell you what, dude, if a teacher actually bit a student, there'd right. be immediate action at the fucking right. principal and be like, level. Like, if there's, like, this is months later and it left no mark and all this other stuff, like, I don't know. It just it seemed like it's too far-fetched. People just don't seem to understand, like, how seriously schools take shit, especially now. Like, now. There's, like, in, zero tolerance for most shit, so. Yeah. The fuck was that? The fuck is going on? What happened? What? Oh, my fucking God. What's happening? Oh, Jesus God, No. Oh, did God, did Voss, Jesus. Does Vo Jesus. Did Voss respond to ContraPoints, dude? <sighs> did ContraPoints clap back? Will Cat Black belittle Voss's dick? Mm -mm -mm -mm. To we'll find out no. next time. I guess, I guess my uh, uncle Dragon has, Ballsy. fuck, Uncle Guy has COVID. Yeah, I know. That sucks. How to get it, TJ? I don't know. Gave it to him. A world yeah. champion. A world champion cyclist says racing has gotten so tough that riders have taken to peeing on each other during races. Sick. It should be yeah. tough, man. You gotta they're, go. They're you gotta asking, go. They're asking us to like watch people ride bikes. So there needs to be some fucking entertainment value. I'm all for this. I think they should in like allow shit flinging, like any part of your bodily fluids or whatever. You should be able to throw at other bikers. Oh yeah, I agree. You could leave like a shit screen, like if you're ahead but not by much, you could take a big old diuretic shit and hope that they all slip in it behind you. Oh, you know dude, I mean? they should like make it like wacky. What's, it what's that show? That cartoon oh. like Wacky Racers or something? You know? Yeah. Like have all kinds of like traps and stuff. Fucking oil slicks. They can shit on each other. They can piss on each other. They can, like, use clubs, like, in um, Road Rash and shit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, dude. Like, Road Rash, but the bike version. Yeah, bike Road Rash. Yeah, and just, like, let them all kick each other and shit. I imagine, like, one dude that's got a big old dick just, like, slapping people with it when they get too close. You know what oh, I mean? hell yeah. Hell or like, yeah, Paul. A dude that's got a big dick, he gets he gets it all hard, and then he sticks it in the spokes of the other guy's bike, so it flips. You know what I mean? Oh, that's that sounds painful. That should happen. All and then like there could happen. be 
there could be different leagues. Like the pussy league would be the unarmed league, but all the way up to like the ultra Chad league where you can use like, you know, chains and weapons and machetes and axes and fucking you can modify your bike with like different kinds of like death machines, like spokes that come out like bond style and pop other tires and shit. Dude, <laughs> this race would be a complete chaos bloodbath. Exactly. <laughs> It would be, wait. This you'd make it wait. Are you saying it would actually be feet before people bro? just start fighting? Entertainment. That's what it is. See, like the government seems to have forgotten, Scotty, the number one principle. They've given us the bread. Where's our circuses, man? Yeah, where the fuck is the circus, motherfucker? We've got we got bread coming out of our fucking assholes. Where's the fucking circus, man? If you don't I give mean, the like, mob some violence, isn't it people in Europe that mainly care about this kind of shit? We would want NASCAR to be like this, well, right? Well, no, because. Because we could care about this if they made it good, like Paul was describing. Yeah. Because NASCAR, and I, and like, by okay, the way, there's still a bunch of dudes. NASCAR on would benefit from this too if they just Mad Max sized NASCAR. Fuck NASCAR. It's boring as fuck watching a bunch well, yeah, of fucking horses. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we, so got yeah. the, we got the technology to do something better at this point. Every one of those cars should be mounted with like a billion GoPros that gets them from every angle, and they should have to ride across the desert and, you know, kill each other and shit. Yeah. It, it, I'd be fine with them even just driving in a circle, but they got to kill each other. Yeah, well, I feel like if you if the, I feel like uh, if you had them drive in a circle, still the circle would get clogged with the carnage. So I feel like you need like more of an open area, you know. It's like twisted metal is what you're saying. You want like yeah, bats. like twisted metal. That'd be good. Like let's do a real life twisted metal. Oh, just like an arenas and shit, dude. You can pop out and like you know someone could be waiting. Oh, he wasted him. He, uh, like you're around the corner and shit. Like oh yeah, okay yeah. See that it's would more like that's you know, the kind of entertainment like that could take thing. me off. That, that could take my mind off like living on a dying planet full of idiots. You know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of thing you'd be like, oh, thank God. I think they should hold, the, like, the Twisted Metal tournament but not tell anybody where it's going to be held next so the people that live in that fucking environment are taken unawares, like, yeah, all of know, a like, sudden. They're just, like, going about their daily business, like, going to the grocery store. So, like, you know, put on your seatbelt, honey. We're going to the grocery store. You know, and the next thing you know, the fucking Twisted Metal clown car shit fucking flattens their ass. <laughs> Dead, you know? Yeah. It's well, it's got to be in a, it's got to be in a populated area for sure. I mean, you have to be destroying not, not only each other but the civilians. Yeah, you know the whole like you, some quaint little idyllic American town, you know, just totally fucking destroyed. It's beautiful. We're the thing. heartlands of America. Man sentenced to three years in federal prison over Pokemon card. The oh, fifty-seven thousand dollar Charizard is now government property. Pokemon, go to jail. <laughs> I love it. A Georgia man has been sentenced to 36 months in prison, three years after using COVID-19 relief money to purchase a rare Charizard Pokemon card. I remember this story. Yeah, this the Department of Justice disorder. announced that it was sentencing in the uh, news release issued Monday. The 31-year-old Vintath, Vinath, Out, Od, Vinath Odomsin, Odomsin was awarded an economic injury disaster loan for $85,000 after claiming to own a small business that supported 10 employees. These loans were created as part Whatever. of... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, once Odom, Odomsin... I'm going to just go with that. Odomsin got the money. However, the DOJ said he spent uh, $57,789 of it to buy a Charizard card. What a fucking idiot, dude. Um, blah, 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 blah. It's in rare mint condition or... Gem, yeah, it's, 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 it's ultra rare. But here's the problem with it. Blah, 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 it's blah. not even that, that like he has like scam the system and bought it it's like he literally got the money and then just like from his own account when was like okay let me buy a pokemon card it's fifty seven thousand dollars you know what he made an investment so that, that money could grow so that he could feed his 10 employees scotty you know because like that yeah, charizard card that's that only don't gonna exist. go up in value pokemon just gets hotter and hotter I'm just every saying, fucking like, year yeah even if it did, like, why would you be so fucking dumb as to get the money into your account and then just go and buy it? But like, if you're gonna, I don't think if it's gonna be a scammer. Wrong. Like, he was trying to procure that money for that those his employees' future, Scotty. You know, he was. He, used, he he claimed the money was to pay employees, TJ. He, he can't right. go buy. It. But they, he committed no, wait, fraud. But how? No, he did not, Scotty. Because you know what? He, no, he did not. No, he did not. He absolutely did not. He just transferred that money from youth useless deflated you know inflation fucking addled usd to something that is accruing value the charizard card you know you what this guy should have done this oh, is this is easy to like get to the bottom of morally so mm -hmm. do you agree scotty and tj with uh you got to spend money to make money yes yes absolutely okay and you got to make money in order to play and pay employees money right mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. There you go. How's this guy going to like, he specializes in trading and flipping Charizards. Yeah. This is a money making opportunity. He's not, he did not frivolously waste this money. He invested this money wisely into a fucking asset. That's going to accrue value over time. <laughs> and that is going to be, that's going to help yeah, him and you, his employees. Here's the problem. It. If he, if his business model was, Hey, I'm not going to have, like he lied about having 10 employees clearly. No, he didn't. And he also said, Where is when he signed these is there forms, anywhere, wait, is there anything in this entire article that says he does not have 10 employees? Well, why would he have got, okay, well, the money, the money was claimed to be for that. Yeah, well, it is. He invested it. Also, when you take these loans, his employees, you, he invested the money. When you take these loans, you agree to specific terms. You could just very specific terms. Oh, and there's a clause in the loan term that use. says can't buy Charizard card? Probably, yeah, something like that. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, Scotty. I don't think so, Scotty. You don't find think so. Find me the clause. Find me the clause, Scotty. Section what? Yeah, we have, we, we have to look one of the we I have got the contract, contract right here. I got the contract open right here. What's going on? Oh, dude, that's actually a good point, chat. Somebody in the chat said, what if Charizard was his employee? What if he said, Charizard, I choose you, and that's just he's one of the employees? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he could have done this exact same business. No, update, literally, guys. He could update. Fuck all this. Look at this. ContraPoints oh, has now blocked Vosh from Twitter. Oh my God! The dark oh world we live in, gentlemen. Oh my God, dude! When when contrapoints block you, you you may as well fucking leave the online <laughs> left, bro. <laughs> the fucking queen of online Twitter leftism is gone, dude. You want to do? Uh, she, like, you want to do your Vosh uh, impersonation and read his uh, his thing against her here, Paul? Sure. Very disappointing from her. She took a side against me in a conversation and then admitted she didn't even know what my position was, uh, condescended, employed uh, 2D ID poll arguments, and generally acted like the sort of uh, person who gave her hell on, uh, whoa, whoa, I can't read that. Sorry. My <laughs> Too suck. awkward for you. Twitter's, Twitter for years. Uh, her biggest L, oh my God, fucking Zoomers, please. Hell. Her biggest L, at least from where I'm standing, my dude, uh, I'm unmoved and will never cede to peer, all right, whatever. Keep this going. is what you're tuned Keep into. Going. Is, Keep going. Paul. Never see to peer pressure, no matter who's pushing it, my guy. Uh, if we learn to cede arguments to public opinion, we will never ever win against the right. Oh my God. So wait a minute. He's like, see, like this is what I'm talking about, dude. Vosh is conflating Twitter drama with contra points to like standing on principle or whatever. Like, at what point did those two things even fucking live in the same universe, bro? You're at that point now, Paul. Oh my God, Meaning man! You've arrived at that point, Paul. You didn't know that. Twitter drama, and he's fucking rambling about <laughs> principles, bro. Oh Jesus! I love it fucking so just, much. What, I, you know what, dude? Can the Zoomer Squad just send out a fucking hit, please, and just take me out? Just, just clip Paul. me. <laughs> just clip me, man, because I'm never gonna get along with it. I'm never gonna understand it. It's never gonna make any fucking sense to me. That dude was up, like, like you just said, bleary eyed until the middle of fucking the night doing this and the next day he's right back in it bro <laughs> he's right back oh once Jesus. more into the well, breach got, i mean you gotta be i mean look that that i mean that's how vosh fucking uh makes his nut dude that's how he fucking he has to have attention so you gotta keep you're a slave to it at a point really <laughs> i'm just reading the comments now <laughs> oh it's too rich Oh, All right, man, that's ape shit central, dude. <sighs> Tom Brady, final touchdown ball, now worth fifty thousand after selling for a five hundred eighteen thousand. Says auction expert. Yeah, you should have like waited. You should have waited until you knew that that for sure that was his last season. Is he done? We're beginning to come to terms with the true cost of Tom Brady's return to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brady announced Sunday he was ending his brief retirement from the NFL and suiting up for the 2022 season. His timing was impeccable. His final touchdown ball had just sold for $518,000 oh, at auction. Dude. TMZ Sports has reached out to the auction expert who said the ball might now be worth only $50,000 and that value might be closer to $25,000. Dude, you gotta be able to you gotta be able to sue for that, right? You were sold something that is this is the final game ball that Brady's gonna use. And now it's not. 
So like they can't do that. They can't get like you can't. It's like they'd be like buying a Lamborghini and then a Yugo shows up or something, and they're like, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Sometimes in life, bro. But but you know that's why it's always sold as is. It's like as as far as they know, it is the last ball. Oh, he unretired. Sorry, at the time that was that was true information. No longer true. We didn't. You know how can you warrant against what's going to happen in the future? Mm. Escaped petting zoo camel attacks and kills two men what? in Tennessee. The camel also attacked a sheriff's vehicle and was ultimately put down. Dude, I see a, I see movie rights right here. You got to make it like way more of a rampage though. He's got to kill like fifty people. Oh, he's got to kill everyone at the petting zoo. He's got to go on like a yeah. You're right. He's got to go like on a cross country rampage, man. You ever heard of the Tennessee Camel Massacre? <laughs> a camel attacked and killed two men outside Memphis, Tennessee, after escaping a petting zoo Thursday. I'm not, I'm not thinking maybe that camel was not um. <laughs> All that pet, you know, like he was in a petting zoo, like, oh, the cute camel. But nope, he's a murderer. Past inspection reports suggest the petting zoo called Shirley Farms, located in Obion County, had little water for the uh, dromedary camels. Well, they're supposed to have a hump. You're supposed to keep water in that. They're not supposed to need that much fucking water. And no barrier to protect the public or attendants uh, present at the time of an inspection. After receiving a call about a loose camel attacking people, Obion County Sheriff arrived at the zoo which is about 100 miles from Memphis. Deputies arrived on the scene to find two unconscious victims on the ground at Shirley Farms and a camel still on the loose. Uh, Obion County Sheriff's Office, uh, Lake County Sheriff's Office, Ridgely Police Department, Tennessee Highway Patrol, and Lake County uh, Rescue Squad were all on scene attempting to render aid and move victims to a safe place. And they had every fucking police department in Tennessee on this motherfucking scene. The seemingly aggressive, uh, wait, seemingly aggressive? It killed two people. I'm pretty sure you can get rid of the word seemingly there. Uh, Camel attacked one of uh, the Obion Sheriff's vehicles and then moved toward deputies who were trying to move a victim uh, to EMS. At this time, the officer had to put the camel down for the safety of everyone on the scene. The two male victims were pronounced dead at the scene. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has noted in the past some animal care issues at Shirley Farms, according to inspection reports, as uh, first highlighted by The Guardian. For instance, in July 2019 report, the USDA said the only access to drinking water for the camels and zebra was a very small, shallow, muddy creek running through their enclosure. Uh, there was no access to any water tro uh, troughs uh, or other uh, potable water sources. Uh, access to potable water is uh, necessary to prevent dehydration and uh, the spread of disease and parasites. So they basically treat these camels like shit. I can't believe this animal that we've them. abused and fucking neglected for years at, at lashed out at us. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. Well, you know what? All because the they're too cheap to just, get a, to just fill a fucking trowel with water. It's nothing. <laughs> do you know what Juicy Smollier should do? He should get one of these camels to kill him. Oh... Why? He should like work his way in the prison system towards where he gets to be like do like some kind of prison adjacent work with camels and then talk one of the camels into killing him. So that'll cause a bunch of controversy. How did a camel kill people? What do you mean? Wait, They're what? huge fucking how animals. Did how did a gigantic ultra muscular animal fucking kill two <laughs> beautiful weasley it? human beings? Like one of okay, the I'll weakest, see. most defenseless creatures on the face of the earth? Like you're aware that like we've we ascended to our position because we have big brains and are capable of using tools, not because we have like anything. Like muscularly, we're weak as shit for an animal. Um, we have weak jaws. We have weak fucking like arms and legs. We got no claws. We got fucking nubby ass teeth. There's like we don't really have much at our disposal. A camel is a fucking gigantic beast that could just kick the shit out of you and stomp you to death, like, pretty fucking easily. So, yeah, yeah it's, camels it's are hard. like hard. Uh, it depends on what camel you're talking about, but these camels, the dromedary dairy camels, is 7.2 to 11.2 to, uh, 11 feet long, about 5.9 uh, to 6 foot 6 feet tall. So, TJ, like, anywhere from, like, you know, our average-sized man to TJ's height, at the, uh, that's at their shoulder, and they weigh uh, 880 to, th uh, to 1,320 pounds. So By the way, animals. we are at $72, meaning we have uh, qualified for the terrible BuzzFeed uh, quiz bullshit. Right. And we are not far off from Crazy Cops Part 1. 
lot of crazy cop videos. And then beyond that, at $200, it's douchebags, dipshits, and Karens. I'm telling you guys right now, you probably want to at least get us there because that's going to, there's some crazy shit in that. You don't want, by the way, anything that does not uh, get covered for you guys here publicly on the next, uh, on, the, on this show, will uh, move on to be covered in our uh, off weeks, uh, or, well, our pleb off weeks. Uh, we do three public uh, onion nuggets uh, for three consecutive weeks, and then we do two private onion nuggets, and anything that's not covered in these shows moves on to be covered in those. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if you want to join the Patreon and see those two private shows a week, I'm sorry, those two private shows uh, on the three on the uh, two weeks following this three week cycle that we just started today. Um, you know, that's pretty easy to do down below and you get all kinds of other cool shit as well. Um, you know, including like live streams every Tuesday, live streams, three uh, Fridays out of the month, uh, live, you know, all kinds. So all kinds of live shit. Uh, we do live, me and Scotty do a live uh, fighting boys show. Paul does live ideologies. I do a live show called Abandon Hope. I did it publicly for a charity uh, last month, uh, but usually it's a show just for our patrons. We also have a gigantic back catalog of uh, shows and stuff that you can fucking check out. I don't want to fucking oversell the shit, but it's fucking really good. And there's a shit ton of content, and it's all fucking super dope. So thank you very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mike Tyson is making pot edibles in the shape of a bitten ear. <laughs> Are they called Holy Fields? They should be called Holy Fields, right? Uh, yeah, you would hope Evander's getting like a little cut of this. Yeah, I mean, like it was his fucking ear, you know. Like he should uh, definitely. They're called Mike Mites. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think Evander Holyfield should get some of this. Nah. Holyfield reportedly I... responded, "Well, I could do that." Yeah. This is a uh, wait. Yeah, here we go. We've reached out to Tyson 2.0 to ask if Holyfield received money from the sales of the ear gummies. After Tyson bit Holyfield's ear in 1997, the match was resumed, and shortly after Tyson bit Holyfield's other ear, Tyson was disqualified. His boxing license was revoked, and he was fined three million dollars. Um, so they didn't. They didn't say they haven't. And you know, I guess Holyfield they didn't answer whether he's getting a cut. He better get a cut. It's bullshit. Dude, I got to get my hands on some of these. Give him ears. a little bite, TJ. A little taste. Yeah, give him a bite. <laughs> <laughs> what what uh what state is Mike Tyson based out of? Nevada. Um, you can get oh, it's available. Uh, Hold on, let me see if it's on my can, my stays on California, yeah, California, Colorado, Nevada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Paul, you I'm gonna get, get my hands these, on bro. some. I'm gonna get some some my hands on some mic bites, dude. Yeah, I mean, like you gotta get some kind of shitty camera at least so you can show us the fucking mic bites. That's fine. I got my phone. My phone. Yeah, will work dude, just you fine. gotta fucking uh, you gotta take a picture. Show us you with the mic bites, because that's. I'm gonna eat the dope. whole bag of mic bites, dude. Too. I'm not. I'm not just gonna have one. one. I'm gonna sitting. have a whole bag. Yeah. Sweet. Ooh. <laughs> All gonna be fucked up, dude. It'll be fine. Okay, yeah. so I got another little breaking. It's not really breaking news. It's just like a breaking a little, news. A little thing that's come to my we have attention. To interrupt the show. Breaking this. news. This is a uh, breaking. This fucking ancient goddamn mummy that was supposed to retire but never did. Is, uh, apparently because his son, like he didn't retire because his son couldn't step up to the plate. Yeah, like or whatever he... James Robertson or whatever his son couldn't couldn't fucking hang with the seven hundred club. He couldn't fucking keep it going. Dad had to fucking come out of retirement again. Oh, you little whippersnapper! Look at this goddamn dementia-addled fucking chimp staring at me right now. It doesn't even look like like he looks like his head's been photoshopped in. I know this is a video. He's turning more and more into the fu into fucking Grand Nagus Zek over time. But uh, let's just fucking take a look. We have the firepower to wipe out every Russian city, just one Trident submarine. And, of course, we're not using it and have no intention of using it. But why doesn't somebody in the administration call Putin's bluff? He's bluffing. And every time he says, well, if you do that, we're going to escalate. Oh, no, you're not, old buddy. We're going to do you if you try to do us. And we'll make Matt Robertson has the weirdest wrinkles, dude. Yeah, man. It looks like he's got a pair of nuts yeah. growing at the corners there's of his mouth. He's got a testicle here and a testicle here. And his forehead wrinkles, like, there's like a, like a little gap. Yeah, even where with it's the like, volume boosted as fuck, there. he's still super quiet. So I'm just going to I mean, we could destroy everything. He's <laughs> barely got enough wind to get in them old lungs anymore, man. Let's see. If he were powerful, he doesn't have much of a of an army he doesn't have much of an economy Eesh. it's a tiny economy and he's playing a bluff but unfortunately we have a man in charge in washington who doesn't like to stand up to bluffs 
he folds his winning hand every single time. Yeah, we need to really need to escalate this. Oh, that's because it's turned down here. That's fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, we really need to escalate this Russia shit. You just need to be like, look, we're going to nuke you, bitch. Fuck with oh. us. We nuke you. Nope. I love bitch. how there's no like there's no appreciation for how cynical it is to be this fucking old and decrepit and telling people like World War Three is you go ahead and have it now. Now that I've had a nice full rich life. <laughs> Now's the time. Now's the time to draw a line in the sand. It's like no. Fuck you, bitch. There was plenty of times where there was a Republican president and fucking Russia pulled some hijinks and shit, and then they didn't start World War Three. I bet you were happy back when you were 20 and 30 and shit and they weren't starting World War Three. But now, now that your whole life is being this like this strange hunchbacked fucking ape sitting there in a sweater looking glassy eyed, not knowing what you're talking about. Like now you're ready to for the nukes to fly. Go fuck yourself, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's convenient now. I'd be like, it'd be mercy for him now if the nukes fucking flew. Pack up your chin nuts and go home, dude. It's time to do, you know, people were asking like, why does anybody stand up to Putin? Why doesn't anybody at the 700 club stand up to Pat Robertson and tell him it's time to fucking go to the home, dude? <laughs> yeah. Like, especially his son who was supposed to take over, like time to go to the home, dad. You'll never fill my shoes. It's like, yeah, well, whatever. I'll give it a shot. You're going to the home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to try. You go. You got it. I'm going to do the griff now, dad. You're going to hell. You know what he should have done? <laughs> going, to <hell. laughs> going to hell. If I was, what would you do? Like, okay, I want you guys to close your eyes, right? right. Imagine you're, Pat Robertson is your dad. Ugh, okay, yeah. All right, I know it sucks, mm -hmm. but you gotta, you gotta get yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. I'm so there. Pat Robertson yeah. is your dad, and he's come to you, and he's gone, son, it's time for me to step down from the old 700 Club, and it's time for you to step up, boy. Now, you know that the 700 Club is in need of a new coat of paint, needs to reach a new audience. Yeah, of course. Uh, so what would you do? Like, how would you change the 700 Club? Fuck, I don't even know. 700 Club? I mean, for that audience, like, I know how to appeal to, like, a particular audience. I don't know how to appeal to that 700 Club audience. Oh, bullshit. You mm. could fucking be, you could easily step into a Christian con congregation and pretend to be fucking religious. Mm. Easily. Yeah, I mean, you know, first of all, uh, you know, you definitely need, like, a new set. What what yeah, is the deal behind is this? Whack. What is the deal behind this? Like I do like more like make it look more like a uh, you know modern and shit, more like a uh, Alex Jones's kind of crazy set. Dude, I I have like, penis I have penis envy for Alex Jones Alex Jones's set. I know. Dude, that set is so I definitely insane. like I get someone to fucking make me some sh a set like that. First of all, yeah, you need, you need a modern set. First off, you, you like you have to totally change the show. You you need more of like the uh, like the TikTok influence kind of thing. You you need like some influencer types to be like this is you know like this show is not for your grandparents anymore. Like you don't want you don't want to put it to where it isolates you from your fucking core yeah. audience. You know. You gotta fucking. You but, gotta, well, you gotta, I mean, like, like but you look, these people are dying off, TJ. You, you know, you, you gotta fucking no. You, you, look, if you really want to go to the new era, man. Look, if you like Pat Robertson, shit, he's got a couple years left. I mean, maybe he, he'll live to be another fucking uh, ten years or so. But I mean, look, th that audience is fast losing any sort of like real decision making. Like, you gotta go for a young audience. I think you gotta just fucking rip off the band aid. I mean, maybe I'll just say directly, this isn't for your grandparents, but you gotta just let them know, like, yeah, it's really. You know, maybe we'll keep a couple of these little things around. But, like, look, this show's in the fucking toilet because it hasn't changed. It's like they're doing, like, a 1980s show. Dude, those are some good ideas. But I think mine would be cheaper and more, like, it would cause more of a commotion and a more of a buzz, dude. All right, what you got? Okay, Two words. It? Two words. You ready? Yeah. 1400 Club. Whoa. Make Damn. The number yeah, you fucking doubled it up. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yup, 1400 <laughs> Club, twice the show. Oh, yeah. Remember, my dad used to host a, show, a little show called the 700 Club. Well, we don't do that shit no more. Now it's the 1400 Club. Twice Boom. the club, bitch. <laughs> he had holy water. We're, we have holy Mountain Dew. That's right. We will bless, we'll send you a blessed soda. You can drink the 2100 it. Club will be my sons. Yeah. Double it up every fucking generation. Yep. <laughs> 42. I don't know what the 700 Club stands for. What is that? What is what, what does that name mean? I honestly don't know. Who the fuck knows? I'm kind of curious now. Hold on. I got to see what the fuck it's about. 
Uh, 700 Club Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Da 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 da. Why? Okay, early history. Blah 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 blah. I just want to know the reason behind the fucking name. God damn it! Gotta Google that shit. I'm just doing it. The, you're I'm going on to Wikipedia you know, you, page you're, for it right now. But that's that's not the best place to always to go. Okay. 700 Club name origin. Yeah. Yeah, I probably won't get like a fucking. Let's see here. 700 Club name was inspired by a 1963 telethon during which Mr. Robertson, the CBN's uh, founder, asked 700 viewers uh, to pledge a $10 a month, $10 a month to support the network. Oh, so okay, it's, so it's all about off, money. So it's about, yeah, it's okay. about, the, gotcha. we should have known it was just tied back to the thing that actually I mean, matters to these Yeah, we, we know with Pat Robertson, the, like, the only way to get that fucking glassy eyed old chimp to spark up is like money. Huh? Yeah, wave, wave a fucking uh, a large bill under his nose. Speaking of money and people begging for it, uh, we are now at one hundred and twenty-one dollars. So we've now made we've now paid for Crazy Cops Part One. We're still on our way to douchebags, dipshits, and Karens. Which Very nice. you guys, you guys want to at least get there? I'm telling you, because that's a fucking good one. That's well, the not one. Good. It's actually like horrible. I mean, if but and know, if they want to see, see the freaking melt meltdown, dude. Oh, yeah. get you, the got, zone. you got some top-notch fucking shit going on there. The Shapiro zone, they were a long way from the Shapiro zone, but, you know, we could get there. Um, anyway, that's just an impromptu thing. Oh, so uh, for those of you who want to live longer, I have a couple stories here about uh, longevity, you know? I don't know why you'd want to live longer on this planet, but if you're one of those people that does... Hey, maybe you do. Maybe you do. So uh, live cold, die old, lower body temperatures linked to a longer life. That's right. Damn. If you live longer, the answer may literally be to chill uh, out. Oh, no. Uh, TJ, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, wanna, I don't want to hear this anymore. What's wrong? What's wrong with you, Scott? Uh, well, look where it's coming from, TJ. Oh, yeah. Study I, finds. Uh, look, I can't. Uh, look, uh, no. No, TJ. This, this is no. Uh-uh. No? TJ, look. This, where, where'd the COVID come from? Where? where? Where'd it come from, TJ? Where'd it come from? I don't know. Where? China. China. That's misinformation. You've been censored, sir. Misinformation. Wuhan, TJ. Okay, look, I'm just saying. When's, when's, oh, when's who? All I don't know. I don't satire. know, TJ. All content is satire. Why are you saying it's satire, Misinformation, TJ? Scotty. Misinformation. 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 All content I mean, is did, satire. Misinformation, but didn't Scotty. It come from, but didn't it come from the Wuhan? No. It no. Didn't? That's racist. Anyway, an international team says their study exam. Yeah, it's international, Scotty. This whole goddamn world figured this out together mm. as a planet. Mm. Says, international team, bitch. Read it and weep. Says their study examined the real world connections to the phrase live fast, die young as an expression. It has come to mean people who engage in risky lifestyles usually die younger than their peers. In biology, however, scientists say it actually refers to animals that have higher metabolic rate dying sooner than those with a slower metabolic rate. Simply put, uh, these species burn themselves out faster. Unfortunately, this relationship between metabolism and longevity isn't always so clear. Generally, people on a calorie-restrictive diet see their metabolism slow, thereby improving longevity. However, exercise is one of the most basic ways to help people live longer, but increases metabolism. So what's the real secret to living a longer life? Researchers say the key may be uh, how changes in metabolism affect an individual's body temperature. Typically, having a lower metabolic rate also lowers body temperature. In the new study, researchers examined animals as the team pushed their metabolic rate and body temperature in opposite directions. To do this, they exposed mice and hamsters to high temperatures, causing their metabolisms to fall as their body temperatures went up. Uh, we found that exposing the rodents to these conditions shortened their lifespans. However, metabolism didn't lengthen their lives, but higher temperatures shortened it, says Professor John R. Speakman from the Shenzhen Institute of Advanced Technology and Media Release. In the next step of the study, researchers used a small fan to blow cool air over animals living in the high temps. Uh, although this didn't change their metabolism, researchers say it prevented the mice and hamsters from having a high body temperature. Under these conditions, the animals did not suffer, suffer a shortened lifespan. The study authors conclude that body temperature appears to have a much more important role in determining lifespans than metabolic rate, creating the saying, live cold, die old. We separated the effects of body temperature on lifespan from metabolic rate in two species of small rodents exposed to high temperatures. We are excited about the findings, particularly that the use uh, that using small fans to blow air over the animals reversed the effect of high ambient temperature on lifespan by decreasing body temperature without changing metabolic rate. Scotty, 
So you want to live forever? Live cold. Live cold, die old. I don't know, man, TJ. State's the longest life expectancy. Minnesota's up there. New York's up there. Yeah, oh, cold man. Cold states. Cold California, too, states. though. Well, as California's long as people in California cold. have air conditioning, Scotty. Yeah, and it's cold at night by the beach. Yeah. Well, not cold in LA usually. Meanwhile, look at us here. In the, there. Look at us here in the fucking goddamn swamp where it's all hot and humid and sticky. Dude, no one fucking dies at twenty. Well, almost the worst, dude. I West wonder, Virginia is, is the worst though. The I wonder when people are going to realize that for people that live in California, LA is just where we like concentrate all our transplants. Like, so if you come from another, it's like a big rat trap that we've built. Yeah, it's like catch all these out of towners. Yeah, you know, like so make sure that you don't they don't pollute the rest of the state. You know? Pretty big. Well, not only that, there. but like brilliantly, Californians have like monetized it. So we chewed them up and spit them out. You know what I mean? And send them backpacking to Arkansas or Texas or wherever little dollar green dream place they came from. You know what I mean? Like nobody goes to L.A. Nobody, no, nobody smart in California moves lives anywhere near L.A., bro. Unless they I would have agree to do that, for work. But... Yeah. Or if you're fucking make a rich. Yeah, because then you I can like live we... in the fucking like Beverly Hills or something. But they usually live in like hamlets and shit, let's be honest. It's Beverly a massive Hills. magnet. It's a That's massive magnet of filth and creepos. Um, I mean, it, couldn't that describe any other fucking state? That a describes Earth, in my filth. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah true. A magnet of filth and creeps, yeah. That describes the Earth. I will tell you this, though, dude, it's just like th there is a California derangement syndrome that happens with people, dude. I know. I was just talking about it earlier today, like these like right wingers and shit. They'll like move from California to some like shithole like Tennessee or something. They'll be like, oh, my God, things are so much better now that I live in Tennessee. It's like how? Yeah, Joe's over there. Joe Joe Rogan moved out of California to Texas, and now he can't even smoke a blunt on his own fucking podcast. Yeah, this is so much better here. Um, you know. Oh, what I really wanted to be doing when I was living in California and getting high all the time was smoking cigars. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Lion, bitch. Uh, I, I, my favorite part is going to be when he comes with his tails tucked between his legs and comes back to California. Because everybody boomerangs California. Mm. You don't ever get to leave California. California leaves you. Well, especially when you found out that uh, he got paid two hundred million dollars, it's like, yeah. So if you're looking at like a thirty or forty million dollar tax bill, that that's the real reason. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait a minute, let me go and uh, avoid paying the state of California a shit ton of money. Here's another. I love like when, as soon as he showed up over there, he almost like froze to death. <laughs> yeah, Here's that was a, my that's favorite right, part. Uh, yeah, Austin. Went through that fucking horrible freeze. Here's another longevity uh, story. Uh, being fat in middle age shaves up to five years off your life, study finds. Hey, man, what is this flipped goddamn script again? Because uh, they, 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 they were telling us 20 years ago that having a little extra fucking weight on you at middle age was like, oh, man, you, that's, you're sure to die. Nope. Being obese in middle age could shave up to five years off your life, a study suggests. Uh, scientists who followed nearly 30,000 people for up to 50 years found that those of a healthy weight died uh, at age 82.3 on average. People in the fattest category defined as having a body mass index of uh, more than 40 lived to just 77.7. .7. Even those who are eh, moderately obese, which is about anyways. a quarter of adults in the U.K., and nearly half of those in the U.S. Uh, lost nearly two years of life. However, barely any difference in life expectancy was spotted between people who were overweight, a BMI of between 25 and 29. Researchers from Northwestern University in Chicago did not break down deaths by cause, but noted obese people are more likely to suffer from comorbidities. Being overweight so be causes overweight, inflammation and fatty fat. deposits to develop in the arteries, putting strain on the heart and other vital organs. Sounds like a bunch so of this, bullshit to me. Yeah, what, what, like, what is where? What is this even about, man? Is this the no shit fucking story? Yeah. Turns out being fat is bad for you. Yep. It's like, what? Healthier no. people tend to live longer. Really? Huh. Wait a minute, Scotty. Did you just use healthy as the antonym of fat? Wow. You're fat a piece shame. of fucking shit, Scotty. I'm going to kick your ass next time I see you. Dude. Yeah, you're too fat, fat to do it, though. I'm that kick is, your fucking that ass, is true. No. Nah. <laughs> Nope, Scotty. We're fighting, Scotty. It's He's been a got long you there. Time coming. 
Uh, How are you okay. going to catch him? A lot of pent yeah, I'm up rage. Run away. No, you ain't running from shit, Scott. You're going to face me. What if he just wears you down like Manny Pacquiao? You know what I mean? Maybe. He just kind of like dances around. He's welcome to try, but I have a, the stamina of You legend. know what you do next time you see him? I'm going to show up with a secret weapon, dude. Oh, yeah? I have a secret weapon. An AK-47? And it's, nothing, it's, not, and it's not really like a weapon that's going to cause violence to you, TJ. You know what it's going to be? He's threatening my life. He's threatening my life. You no, hear him? He's threatening my life It's going to be a right fucking now. delicious Big Mac, dude. He's or threatening my or fucking life right now, Sonic folks. Burger. You, you know what him. we got to do? You heard we got to get... He's threatening me. Because, like, one fat person is never, like, even, because there are some fat people that could rock your shit, but most fat people are pretty, oh, like, yeah. you know, they're pretty tame. So we fat people need to start, like, gang, we need we need a gang, is what I'm basically saying, like, where, like, you know, 10 fatties show up, I don't care who you are, man, if you're going to have to fight off 10 fatties, there's a good chance you're going to get hurt, you know? Yeah, especially well, when yeah. they fucking form the blob. Anyway, yeah, being, it turns out being fat's bad for you. I don't know. Wow. I mean, this is a shocking story. So Suspect in deadly shooting spree of D.C. NYC homeless people arrested. So you guys, uh, there was a guy going around shooting homeless people, and I guess they caught him. I mean, I heard like a punching down, but like he's literally just shooting down at this point. Yeah, suspect in the serial killing and shooting of homeless people in the Big Apple in Washington, D.C. was arrested. Uh, a suspect was arrested uh, early Tuesday in the Capitol. Uh, police announced the gunman identified by a high-ranking police official as Gerald Brevard III, 30 years old, was busted when investigators tracked him down at a D.C. gas station. Arrested early this a.m., uh, law enforcement uh, arrested the suspect in Washington, D.C., the D.C. Police Department announced at 5.40 a.m. He is currently being interviewed at our homicide branch. Additional information will be forthcoming. Thank you uh, to the community for all your tips. The arrest came just hours after the force released clear facial photos of the prime suspect who has been tied to two uh, murders and three attempted murders uh, targeting homeless men in both cities. Uh, the same man was linked to both cities after chilling video footage caught the cold-blooded slaying of one of two homeless people shot in Soho on Saturday. A Metropolitan Police Department uh, homicide captain who used to live in the Big Apple saw surveillance photos and realized they looked like the man his department was also chasing. Uh, the suspected homeless killer was arrested uh, this morning in Washington, D.C. The streets are filthy with scum. The sewers are overflowing with the detritus of society. The junkies, the whores, the pimps, the down-on-your-luck bums. And everybody just walks by and pretends to not see it. But I can't anymore. Wow, Andy. It's uh, very poetic. Here's a man who stood up. <laughs> People will say there was a man who stood up, who didn't just walk by the piles of trash, picked up a broom, got to sweeping. <laughs> he probably did see himself like that, like yeah. some kind of superhero fucking figure. Yeah, there's so many cameras and just so much surveillance that even like this guy probably just thought oh, I'll get away with this shit if I just kill homeless people because no one cares about them like no one no one knows who they are they're just these faceless people so they won't they're the easiest they're the easiest target nobody notices yeah. when they're gone and nobody's you know looking out for them they're the at the absolute bottom rung of society the most vulnerable people in society that's the easiest person to kill so oh, it's just yeah. a, it's a target of convenience like what's the most uh, absolutely unbelievably needy group of people in the world that are the easiest to get Get one over on homeless people. Let's kill them. New York City woman accused of torturing, holding an online date hostage for $100,000. Man, this online dating shit, man. Stop doing it. Don't do it. The Don't old honey it. trap, huh? A 22-year-old New York City woman faces attempted murder charges over claims she duped a date into coming to her apartment where he was allegedly tortured and held for $100,000 ransom. According to the uh, New York Post, Valerie Rosario, 22, allegedly lured a 24-year-old man to a Bronx apartment last month, according to the Post. Allegedly turned out to be, dun-dun-dun-dun, a honey trap. After he got in the apartment, three men allegedly barged in and started pistol-whipping him. Then uh, They then allegedly stripped him and placed him in a bathtub, poured flammable substance on him, and burned him with a flame, the paper reported from charging documents. Uh, the woman and a group of men allegedly spent hours torturing the kidnapped man, even stabbing him while demanding $100,000 in ransom on a video call with the victim's brother. Rosario allegedly uh, picked out the victim after noticing he would often flash money 
on his own personal Instagram account, and uh, she suggested they get together. The NYPD was able to track down one of the attackers to a van parked in Queens. The unconscious victim was found lying in the back of the van, wrapped in a blanket, and his mouth covered with tape, according to a criminal complaint. Rosario was later arrested and uh, is being held in jail. Fox 5 News reached out to Rosario's lawyer for comment, Raymond L. Loving, simply stated, Ms. Ms. Rosario denies all charges that have been leveled against her. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard <laughs> to innocent. deny at this point because it's like, uh, you know, how else, did he, how else is he there? You know what I mean? Uh, sounds like he was a, in a bondage, TJ. Yeah, it was Look, all he was totally into it, He's, Your Honor. Dude, he was just like, Dude, uh, so when I get there, I want three men to pistol whip me, put me in a bathtub, cover me in flammable liquid, and set me on fire. Burn me, stab me, torture me, beat and my then nuts. call my brother and be like, give us $100,000. That's my kink, you know? I'm super into <laughs> yeah, it. <and> very normal. <laughs> Is she hot? Good question. How come this news doesn't cover the fucking things we really want to know, huh? I mean, I'm assuming the guy wanted to meet up with her, right? Yeah, but who knows if that was actually her? Did she catfish and honey trap him? What happened Ooh. to Paul? Nothing, as far as I know. Paul is Paul's unhappy. right here. Are you okay? It's, yeah. Paul, yeah, are you okay? Fine. Are you okay, Polly? You mean what happened to Paul? What happened to you? What happened to Paul? Where's Paul? It's right there. I don't know. What happened to what, what did happen to Paul? He's right there. That is guy is Andy? traumatized for life. No shit. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. He, he fucking thought he was going to get some pussy and instead he got fucking beat up and lit on fire. So, yeah, I'd say he probably, uh, probably is going to have his, some trouble. His day went it. downhill rather quickly. What if he liked it? <laughs> what if he's like, man, best date I've ever it's fucking ruined had. ruined me. Oh, only I can get out. Yeah, maybe the fucked up thing is he actually made his fetish. It's like, he's oh trying to get women to do well, it. I'm rich. I'm oh, really rich. Look on Instagram. Fire, baby. Want to meet me? I'm really rich. Uh, Black Panther director Ryan Coogler was mistaken for a bank robber. This situation should have should never have happened. I'm going to say what? you're probably right about that. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler was briefly detained by police in Atlanta in January after he was mistaken for a bank robber at a Bank of America, according to a police report filed Wednesday. The director confirmed the incident to Variety. This situation never should have happened, he said. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction. We have moved on. Cooler was detained and handcuffed after he went to a Bank of America to make a transaction on January 7th, according to the Atlanta Police Department. The 35-year-old director was wearing a hat, sunglasses, and a COVID face mask. Uh, went to the counter and handed the bank teller a withdrawal slip with a note written on the back that reportedly read, I would like to withdraw $12,000 cash from my checking account. Please do the money count somewhere else. I'd like to be discreet. The teller, however, misinterpreted the situation as an attempted robbery when the amount of the transaction exceeded $10,000 and triggered an alert notification from Kugler's bank account. The teller then informed her boss that she suspected it was a robbery attempt, and together they called the police. Four Atlanta PD officers arrived on the scene and detained <laughs> oh two of Kugler's colleagues who were waiting from outside of the bank in a car with the engine running. They informed the officers who Kugler was and what he was wearing, which matched the description of the man. Basically, like, he's rich as fuck. Yeah, he doesn't have to rob the bank. Coogler's <laughs> colleagues were detained in the back of the police vehicle, and Coogler was handcuffed and taken out of the bank <laughs> the by the fuck? two officers. After verifying Coogler's identity in his Bank of America account, the officers released him and his colleagues. A Bank of yeah. America spokesman told Variety, we deeply regret that this incident occurred. It should never have happened. We apologize to Mr. Coogler. Well, you, you, you take these sites with a grain of salt, but it says his net worth is $25 million. So Right. I mean, I, I don't think he's trying to take... I mean, twelve thousand dollars from Bank of America. I mean, he's like a top echelon film director. You know, he directed like one of the yeah. biggest fucking hit films of all time. So, yeah, he definitely can get money out of his account, right? I'm just surprised that a motherfucker with that much money is banking at fucking Bank of America for fuck's sake. Like, don't they have like special banks for people with actual money? Like, why does he have yeah, to go to some know. shitty Bank of America? <laughs> that sucks. I mean, he probably, just, he probably just wanted the money just, you know, like anyone would. Obviously, he's rich, so he can get, gets out more. I mean, if he went in and said, I want 100 bucks, they'd probably have been like, okay, whatever. It's just that's like, obviously, he was racially profiled. It's like, this guy wants his money. He has sunglasses and a COVID mask on. He's a bank robber. Yeah, there's like, I always, is, like, uh, I always the thought intent, that, like, though, right? oh, I always thought that at like a certain age, like, like level of richness, you just paid somebody else to handle all your money shit. I mean, he probably could have. 
Well, but, I like to know, handle his own money. Not though. every not everyone is uh, is so hands off. You know, like some people still like to just handle their own shit. They don't like fucking delegating responsibilities to other people around them. Yeah, if I was ultra rich, I would definitely be a hands off type. Yeah, of I would rich never, person. I would never fucking stand in line at a fucking bank again in my fucking life. You know what I mean? Yeah, there, well, there would be no reason to. Right. Like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't get any kind of, I don't derive any kind of enjoyment or fulfillment from doing that. So there's no way I'd do it. Hell no. Yeah, I, I would, understand. I would, I would be reclusive. And uh, I'd have a lot, like quite a few people that work for me that do all this, that, and the other thing, make sure everything's where I need it to be so I can live whatever kind of lifestyle I want. And I just don't want to see anybody or talk to anybody. Yeah. And I would definitely not bank at fucking bank of America. <laughs> I'd fucking have like a fucking <laughs> higher end. Else. I'd have a higher end bank than that. I wouldn't be. Uh, sure. I, like, it's, what do, what do rich America. people bank? I wouldn't be saying oh, like bank of America. Like, please take out my $12,000 cash, please. Cause that's like, it's so unusual of a situation for a Bank of America teller to fucking have to deal with that. Like, go to a maybe real they give him bank. some, maybe they give him some sweet ass deal to bank there though. That's true. Like, a, a, like a certain level of richness, do banks like court you? Oh, they probably yeah, do. Of course. Of course. So he probably banks there because B of A came and gave him a ridiculous percentage point or offered him some ridiculous fucking loan, zero interest loan or some shit. Paul, apparently there's some dude you hate in the chat. A dude I hate. That's what I'm hearing. So this he dude, hate. Miles Hill, he said, the reason is to, is not to be a lazy piece of shit. Why waste money on paying somebody to go to the bank for you when you could do it yourself? And then someone underneath said, Mr. Hill, I recommend you don't comment here. Paul hates you. Huh? I don't know. So you're not aware of your hatred of this person, I guess? I don't, I've never heard of that person in my life, but all right, bro. Have I fun. do not care what Paul, Paul hates thinks. You. I pay him money. He can listen to it. All right. Uh, let's see what happens now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> let's uh, see what happens now. Let me see. M Manny T has a very interesting little icon there. Yeah. Shocking. <laughs> this is just troll shit. Jesus, man. Hate solves nothing. Hate solves nothing. Anyway, uh, this is a little, um, this is a cute little video. <gasps> it's a scary video, but it ends well. I'm just going to say. Not the cat. Not the fucking cat. No. No. Oh, shit. That's There's a like long a dude just... way down. No. Come on, cat. That dude trying to save the cat is so half-assed. Like, oh, cat, let me try to save you. Yeah, he's I not mean, really how far fun. would you lean over the edge of that to save that cat? He's trying. I go all the way. Hold my legs. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Caught him with the Did American flag, him? no less. They didn't actually catch him in the thing. He still fell out of there, but uh, he's okay. Oh, he's good. He's fine. The cat will live. <laughs> so there you go. Man, what a bunch of fucking bored apes we are. See, this is why we need the circuses that we were talking about earlier. Look at this. That cat. Red and circuses. How, about, how much do you want to bet that whatever fucking sporting event this is at, that they're at, that was probably the biggest pop all night? Oh, yeah, for sure. Was that cat? fucking living well yeah the cat's marching in the game yeah I mean, that's because we that's what, but look at what was at stake life and death yeah, yeah. people were like i want the cute little kitty to live and he did oh dude Yay. i believe me I've, I've been behind the circuses for a while paul they just won't listen to us man they won't listen to us cat lives matter as long as everybody that signs up to be a gladiator or whatever like i'm not for like doing the whole slaves into gladiator things obviously but like Dude, if you want to be a gladiator, you should be able to sign up and go out there and risk life and limb. Yeah, why the fuck not? Give us a fucking, um, like, a, a running man game. Like, that's what I want, really. Give us, like, a futuristic Coliseum game. Yeah, how can we have to, like, you know, I mean, we're already at this, the level of social decay where that's supposed to happen, right? So let's do it. Let's get it. Uh, not yet. All right, so this is our final uh, little news thing here. Um, we are up to $129, uh, well, sorry, $131 in revenue, which puts us um, over the hump for um, Terrible BuzzFeed quiz bullshit and Crazy Cops Part 1. We're not quite there to douchebags, dipshits, and Karens yet, but, uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit more, and we will be. 
that you can donate via Super Chat or Streamlabs. Uh, you know, Super Chat, self-explanatory. Streamlabs is the first link in the description section of this video. This is a, um, a Russia Today reporter uh, basically being accused of, like, serving, you know, Putin or whatever the fuck on uh, some other news show. What? No. So here we go talking about it as being propaganda what do you see cnn is doing what do you talk about the white okay. helmets and let, that they've been fabricating all that stuff that's been going on you're gonna let, tell me that's let, true let me let they me got, again let they me got ask an you the award question. an oscar award okay. what does that tell you and now they want to take let, them let into the ukraine again. so they can go I'll, ahead and I'll film some clear. more videos okay i'll be very clear let me ask it again and i'll ask this guy's trying to grab her tits you see that he's oh, trying, trying to grab her tits right now that guy's a sexual predator Booby Arrest squeeze. that man. Arrest that man. Let me be clear. I want to squeeze him. Let's get slower this time. Where did you get okay. the information that Zelensky left and went to Germany and was able to get back into Ukraine in during this war? It was in the news. You didn't hear it yourself. He went into oh, it was a in the news. It was, it was in the news, not? of course. Yes. It was in the news. It was on the Russian news. It was on RT. No, it was I here mean, in the United insane. States. You don't Google. Oh. You don't Google. You don't oh, see oh, any oh, other oh, you, news. Oh, you, you don't Google. Got a Google. Google. You got a Google. Google news. You got a Google, dumbass. Just got to Google it. Do your own I research, hope, bro. <laughs> I hope Vosh wins this one too. <laughs> Vosh wins all of them, Paul. Vosh always wins. Sorry, sorry. You you mean no. the fact that it was Is on the internet somewhere? Is there something else you'd like to ask me? <laughs> Is there anything so, else you'd I'll, like to yeah. ask me? Yes, there's ben one other Faith. question. That really was, I don't know, like, uh, she doesn't really have an answer for it, but it is kind of like a weird question, too, because, like, any source she says, he's just going to have the same reaction to, so. Right, he's just going to, he's going to discredit whatever she says, so. Yeah. She's, it's like a catch-22 question. But this is what, this is what happens when you, when you have not an interview, but just like a shit-flinging match. Let's see whose propaganda wins. Western propaganda versus Russian propaganda. Go! <laughs> well, obviously, you know is, what side is going to win on here. You are in a very pricey area of Miami Beach. Uh, my understanding is uh -huh. you're a teacher. Are you paid by the Russian government? Why would I be paid by the Russian government? I'm a pricey area. What do you mean? Just because I'm here, I'm what downtown. I, what I mean I'm is that I'm downtown. I, mm, that sounds like you are. <laughs> Oh, like, well, uh, no one why would I be paid by well because uh, yeah. it's not a denial it's like why yeah, would, would no. I be paid by the Russian <laughs> it's like to spread propaganda right that's what that's what they pay you yeah. for the definitive answer to that would be no yeah just say no <laughs> if it's no just say no because like why would I be seems like a deflection you know what yeah, I mean? your, your your best bet there is to go no yeah if somebody goes like Hey, dude, did you murder your next door neighbor last night? And you didn't? You don't go like, Pfft. why would I do that? Door, why would I? Why would I murder my next door neighbor? First of all, <laughs> yeah. why would I do that? Yeah, second of you, all, like, why would I? Just what a ridiculous question. No. <laughs> yeah, just say like, no. No, I'm not. What? Even if you did, just be like, no, <laughs> absolutely. Well, that's not. how you know. That's how you're confirmed to be a liar. Is when someone asks you a question, and you respond with a question that is just uh, essentially repeats the question being asked to you. Where you try to think of an answer that you can like, how can I mentally answer you, the mental gymnastics to answer this question in a way that doesn't incriminate me or makes me actually out to be a liar, which clearly she is. If she's not. She should just say no, and if she is, she should just say no. Yeah, <laughs> either way, it's the simple to alleviate no. that. Direct, yes. simple, no, absolutely not. Well, That's if you have a suspicion, the way you uh, basically dispel a suspicion, right, is by just saying, proving that there's no, there's nothing to it. Yeah, I, I think you are. I, I worry. I don't know. I worry uh -huh. you are a Russian agent who is being paid by the Russians to appear oh, wow. on Russian television that would be nice. as an American. That would be nice. That's a weird. <laughs> Also a weird response, but also oh, a weird man. fucking Jeez. line of accusation. Just like, all right, well, instead of actually arguing with anything that's being said, I'm just going to, like, lambast you as a, like, Russian spy. It would be hella nice to be a Russian agent, though. Yeah, I guess it would like be. Like, okay. if they were giving you, like, 30 grand a month to just live in an affluent area and be, like, an influencer or whatever, you tell oh, me yeah. you wouldn't take that? You love America so much you wouldn't take that job, TJ? I'd take it. I don't I'd take fuck. that shit in a heartbeat. I'd be good at it, too. About, I don't give a fuck about any of these damn nation states. They can go fuck themselves. I mean, I give a fuck if about if one of them wants to pay me to fucking... Yeah. PJ Kirk know. is brought to you by Russia. <laughs> I'll do it.
Probably not for thirty thousand a month, because you know that, that'd be too serious if they caught me. I need a little bit more than that. Dude, thirty G's a month is a lot of dough. That's not a really. lot of bread. I mean, it TJ. was it was maybe like ten years ago or something. Today, that's a like, lot of yang. TJ, I need more like fifty or sixty. Fuck that. I'm yeah, t- I'm, supposed I think, to, I think, dude, TJ, I think TJ, we're seeing putting this price out there to the Russian government. Look, I'm not gonna take thirty, but fifty, sixty. Yeah, Putin, you know, if you're watching look. this, at least fifty, dude. Come on, come on, dude. Have you ever heard a, a salesman talk about like the signing uh, effect, where it's like people will people like will say like, no, there's no way I'd do this for fucking 30, 30 grand. But when that money is right in front of you and all you got to do is sign a little piece of paper and take that check and put sign it in the bank. Paper, but it's too risky. You gotta, 30 you grand. Gotta have a extra what do you mean it's risk? risky? Yeah, you got to have a little extra for that risk. I, only if you're stupid. Only if you're like this chick and you answer the question, do you work for the Russian government the with like, I don't know, do I? For trader? What am I? Wait, what am I a trader of? How would I be a traitor? I don't have any loyalty to this fucking country or any other. <laughs> like, no, I wouldn't be a traitor. Then to get shit. out. Get out, then, TJ. No, get out. Leave it. I literally would if I could. Basically giving objective Good. analysis. And it concerns me, but tell no, me I'm wrong. I mean, again, me. I don't know that. No, I but that. I wonder if the Clinton- I'm not reporting facts here or anything. This is rampant speculation in my parts, but uh, yeah, no know. one is paying me, huh? Since they're no paying you paying. to do this show. <laughs> yes, the, and no, George no, Soros, no. too, right? And George Soros. I guess. Yes. I guess. All right. I guess. Soraya, um, you know, Soraya I, I don't know that we're going to be able to interview. agree, but I hope that you reconsider as an American, an American first. Reconsider uh, as what an you're, American. What you're up All to. Americans need to reconsider and yeah. see that our freedoms, yeah. we're losing them slowly because you're yeah. having all these people take over. Losing them slowly? We lost them like a while back. Yeah, what, well, <laughs> what are you talking about, about bitch? It? You stupid. Are you now or have you ever been at any point a member of the Communist Party? <laughs> Maybe. Have you consorted Why with any I known be? communists? Why Do you would support I? Any, Why would I? Do you, do you support any communist invader force anywhere on this planet? Why would I support them? <laughs> in the name of what? Democracy? Who's democracy? Them? I don't know. Everybody has their Taking own over notion of democracy. This is a republic. The United States is a republic. Right. That's a changing of the topic from what's point. happening in Ukraine. But, but I understand why you changed the topic, because that makes sense. If I were you, I would change the topic as well. Um, Soraya Foss. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank There's- you. There's two talking heads going at it. Wow. Pony. Like waste of time. God, this uh, meaningless. Pwned owned bone. The European shill. The European shill. No. Guys, guys, guys. Uh, uh, you're both paid shills. It's fine. We need a three way Spider Man meme for this. Both shills <laughs> pointing at each other, and then the third person going, you know, like, you're both shills. We need the three way Spider Man meme quickly. All shills, all the time. All right. Um, so it's time to learn something about ourselves using the greatest introspective tool of our time. Uh, That's right, Scotty. The BuzzFeed quiz. Are- you're a fucking idiot. But if you believe Fox, though, right, or NBC or ABC News or whatever, you're definitely smart. Then you're smart. Actually, I got. I guess the reverse. I think. I think every BuzzFeed quiz, even if it seems at first like it didn't get the right answer, on some level, in some way, it did. Okay. So here's the top quiz. I don't know. I don't really know a lot of fucking contemporary celebrities or whatever. So I probably don't even know these a lot of these motherfuckers now, but this is uh, I am genuinely curious if you think these incredibly famous celebrities will be remembered or forgotten in a hundred years. So I guess that okay. means like you have to assume the planet's still around and we haven't destroyed ourselves a hundred years from now. So I guess we'll just grant grant yeah, it. Yeah, well, well, that's, that's that's a pretty big thing we're granting. But and right. then it says here he'll be remembered forever. Oh, wait, is a hundred years or is it forever? Because a hundred years and forever what? are fucking yeah, the, already not the, the same quiz duration is bullshit. Of time. It's not I mean the question. Of time. The, the question, I think they're using forever forever rhetorically because the question is very clearly 100 okay. years. So we'll, we'll so, just assume it's 100 years. Yeah, we're just using the poetic I'd have, I'd have to assume he'll be remembered forever, in quotes. Forever. Forever. He's been, he's been in so many top-end blockbuster movies that for so long, too, like two decades worth of cinematic dominance. The people will be talking about him for a long time. He's probably the most beloved character in the Avengers, too. So when people go back and do their, like, I'm going to watch an old movie. They're going to fall on the Avengers and they're going to rediscover him all over again. And yeah, Jeff. Uh, yeah. Bezos. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. gonna, his, he's probably still going to be alive and like living in like a mech suit or something. So yeah, yeah, it's going to be like uh, Mr. House or some shit. He's like a pneumatically <laughs> sealed tube. 
he's going to be like, uh, you know, like a Jay Gould or a rocker, a Rockefeller or whatever. He's going to be like, like the object of rampant fucking conspiracy theorism and all kinds of shit forever. Yep. Joe Rogan. Nah, nah I don't no, think so either. I, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much <the> consensus, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tom Hanks. Um, uh, I think the, for the same. For the same reason, because like th- I, I think about it now, Nosferatu recently had its hundred year, year yeah. anniversary, right? And people are still going back to that original movie. And movies have gone from like a tech demo to a cultural phenomenon. So uh, we're all like, assuming that we're not going to die in the nukes. Tom Hanks is going to have a huge his whole lifetime of fucking cinematic dominance, starting with you know some earlier roles, big all the way through Forrest Gump and. Yeah, I mean, he's away in too many, he's been. He's gonna have like to me, like I think, kind of be remembered the same way, like like a Jimmy Stewart or something. Like, he's got that kind of like vibe, I think. Yeah, he'll I be remembered. I don't think you're gonna forget. Chris Jenner, nope. I don't even. Chris know. Jenner I is just who that is now. <laughs> well, she's she's a uh, that's a uh, fucking what's she's her on name? like she's one of the Kardashian people, right? Yeah, right. she's Car- the Kardashians' mom. Yeah, so there. Yeah, I don't. No, no way. Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Kelly, Kelly. No, no, nobody even remembers him now. He's trying to reinvent himself <laughs> as like an <laughs> that even an Joe Rogan rock. fucking had that fucking shit. Yeah, J Lo. Nah, probably not. Uh, I mean, I think she's got a better chance because she had a musical career and a movie career, so the chances of her being like sampled, referenced, you know, are probably higher than some she of the other people be, on this. If like big butts stay in fashion for the next hundred years, she might be like viewed as like an early example of like big butts being well not not only that but but look at how popular it is now to go back and look at like all the 50s pinup stars like who was who was a hot chick in the 80s who was a hot chick in the 70s who was a hot chick so she's gonna be one on those lists forever like people will be like oh i don't know if you know like i think all these people are gonna be remembered in some capacity just for being famous in their day but like is she gonna be like actively remembered by like a lot of people i don't think so no i don't think so either i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say no it's about 50 50 on that one. J- Judge Judy? No. Um, I would say probably not, right? Uh, uh, I mean, this is tough because the the nature of memes now is such that a person might out like vastly outlive their influence, you know, or underlive their influence. Like she could become a meme. She's very memeable. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think she'll be actively like the, remembered. The, I just feel like the the nature of her content is so like ephemeral. Like I yeah. don't I don't think anyone's gonna give a shit about a like an episode of Judge Judy in twenty years, let alone a hundred. No, not not really. Pete Davidson. I barely know who that is now, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah, no. Uh, probably not. He's he's embroiled in some major fucking drama though. You say I, you I know do like with, drama with Kanye. Yeah, he's like yeah, yeah. He's but I, he's like on SNL, right? He's like a comedian. Yeah, he's an SNL comedian dork, and he's fucking Kim Kardashian, and Kanye doesn't like him. And yeah, and they have. Like, I do you think it's funny for some reason the feud is like a public thing? <laughs> you know, oh yeah, they're, they're like, giant. They're being real. Stars. They're being real adults about it, as you can probably imagine, you know, like leaking each other's DMs and shit. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be remembered, though. No. Yeah. People seem to agree. Paris Hilton. No, absolutely. No. no. <laughs> 19% really believe that. OK. All right. Uh, People that are in into- oh, yeah, athletes like on her level get remembered for sure. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's no fucking way. Jackie Chan, yes. yes. He'll be Jack- oh, yeah, Jackie yeah. Chan for sure. Um, people will still be watching the shit he did. Because, like, the stuff Jackie Chan did in films is probably never going to... There's, like, people are never going to recreate that. You know what I mean? Fuck like Chris, no, dude. Cristiano Ronaldo, the soccer player, nah. I mean, probably not nobody, in America, no, but, like, internationally... Nobody cares, about, no, nobody cares about soccer players now, dude. I mean, we don't in America. Yeah, we're, we're the, the wrong rest people of the world to ask pretty much shit. does. Uh, but, you know, I'll go I'm with gonna us because America... Yeah. Yeah, see, we're right. America rules. I don't even know who this is, so I can't. I don't know who it is, so no way. No. No. Jung Kook. Ellen? I don't think so. Probably uh, not. I hope not. She might be like a footnote here and there, but I don't think she's going to be a major. Yeah, thing I'm going to go with no one will remember her. Jake Paul, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Easiest answer ever. Bob <laughs> Dylan. Uh, yeah, Bob. Like, yes. <laughs> one percent. Oh, Jake off, Paul dude. is eternal. No. <laughs> yeah, they're delusional. 
Bob Dylan. Bob yeah, Dylan. He will. Yeah, he'll definitely be remembered. He'll be remembered. That's ridiculous. I think he won. Yes, Martin Scorsese. 30, yes, these thirty-two percent of people are fucking stupid. Uh, Scorsese. Yes, yeah, he made too many huge films. DJ, <laughs> get out of here. You better. You vote no. You played yourself. Mm. You vote no. You played yourself. You vote no. You played yourself. I'm playing yourself. myself. I'm gonna play another myself one, all night, dude. Come on. We the best music. We the best. TJ, don't do it. No. Oh, uh, 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 congratulations, TJ. You played yourself. Who? No. I this don't is know. the stranger. Key. No, he's not gonna be fucking. Remember. Come That's on, no. ridiculous. Adele. Adele. Um, uh, I, would, I mean, she's standing there for like a that. million Grammys. Yeah, yeah. So she'll probably yeah, yes. She'll be remembered. <laughs> That's a fuckload of Grammys. For sure. Vin Diesel. Um, <laughs> no. Well, I'm hold on. I don't know. Fast and Furious was pretty big. Huh? I mean, but you know, like, th- at, like a big action spectacle franchise like that is going to age more poorly than you know. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But he's he's in a bunch of other shit too, though. He's attached to so many like classic franchises and shit. He is Riddick. Like he's he's right? brute. Yeah. He's Riddick. He's all over the goddamn map, and he's and he's young. He's still young enough to like act for another twenty years too. So we're assuming that these people's like celebrity is just gonna stop. I think Vin Diesel's got another twenty years left. Mm, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence on him, Scotty. I'll uh, I'll let you decide. Because Paul says yes, I'm th- leaning poor towards no. So you can be the tiebreaker on that. Uh. Man, I just look tough. at how we treat, like, look at how we treat actors that came before our time. We still talk about like Marlon Brando, who probably did most of his acting before any of us were born. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean, like, we're still talking about the great. Act- I'm not saying he deserves to be up in there, but he's been in a I lot of fucking Vin- huge films. I don't know, man. I, I, I have a hard time imagining Vin Diesel. I mean, like, would it be possible? Some, well, you know what? I guess there's a possibility he could be remembered. So I'll, I'll lean towards he'll be remembered. Okay. Howard Stern, yeah, he's definitely gonna be remembered. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. Like Willie, though. Like uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, like, I've seen, I've seen his relevance decrease dramatically in my lifetime. So he went like in the you got you guys remember in like the nineties, early two yeah. thousand. Like I mean, he, he was pioneered a lot. I think of he shit, was just though. too much. I, mean, I think he's just too yeah, much yeah, of a trailblazer. Yeah. To I mean, I think he's gonna be like, in the same way that like you might you you remember like the um. Oh, fuck his name is actually sl- slipping from my memory so that's fucking not great but um lenny Br- lenny bruce you know like yeah. even though like lenny bruce like i would never actually put on a lenny bruce routine and be like wow, wow. but i know him because pushed- i just know him because he was a trailblazer that like pushed buttons and fucking you know opened up fucking i mean a lot of this podcast and shit medium. especially the outrageous shit i mean howard stern kind I of think fucking that he's always going to be stuff. seen as like the origin of that so that's probably going to yeah. be the thing that cements his legacy in my book yeah Maybe. i'm gonna go yes I'm gonna go with yes. Ah, oh, we're the minority. No, we're not. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. I think he's gonna be remembered though. Nick Cannon. He's already fell. He's already fallen off so hard. Yeah, uh, Nick gonna, Cannon. No, no. no gonna remember. I don't even know who that is. He's an idiot. He's the host of like Who Wants to Remember burn. the Yellow M&M? The Yellow M&M is almost guaranteed to be remembered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Joe Biden? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. I'm I mean, thinking. I don't know. Like, be. a lot of presidents do kind of just slip into the memory hole of, like, eh. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, it'll be, like, a name that people recognize forever. But, like, are they really going to, like, remember anything about him? Probably just, like, remember that time we had, a, like, a super doddering old guy? I mean, honestly, president? I'll tell you why I think he'll be remembered. It's just because of the Trump shit. What? what? Come on, no! Get the fuck out of here, Keanu Reeves. Um, he's eternal. Yeah, you're probably he's probably still gonna be yeah, alive. I mean, come on, he's eternal. He's been in too many fucking great films. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. No. no, please. I'm just gonna. Please. I'm gonna vote with my soul. Colonel Sanders is not even really remembered as a person. He's just like he's a brand. Yeah, yeah. he's like an icon of a. He gets brand to be a brand. I'm gonna say yes because I. He's I'm absolutely gonna be remembered forever. I'm pretty sure anybody on here who you would associate more with a personal brand than themselves would probably be a yes as well. Uh, she she's a scammer, so she probably will get remembered. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I I'll go with no because people have short memories these days. Uh. Mm. No. Cheers. Is people going to be watching Cheers in hundred years? No. I doubt it. Unf- no. Unfortunately, George Went is not going to be remembered. Uh, Joel Osteen. God, I hope not. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to go no. Mm, he, he could be, I mean, but... He's so young, he's probably going to do this grift for so many more years. He's just going to he's gonna get that name wreck, like the Pat Robertson, the Jimmy Swagger fucking kind of thing. I mean, he already has that, really. For right, and I mean, he's going to be doing this grift for years and years to come. So, I mean, I feel like he probably will be remembered. Ugh. I'm in the minority, though. <laughs> will people remember Bono in 100 years? Um... Probably, I mean, I U2 guess, was, was I mean, pretty. I mean, there's I mean, they're still pretty thing. big. Yeah, he's, he's super famous, super rich, um, done a lot of shit. Man, I hate Bono. I really don't want him to be remembered. <laughs> I, he probably will be uh, in a hundred. You, know, you said like five hundred years or some shit. Like most people will fall off this list, but I think Bono will be remembered in a hundred years. Mm, I guess you're probably right. Fuck. Finally, you think we'll remember you in a hundred years? <laughs> uh, okay, no, fucking no, no, no. Yep. No. Yeah, fuck Boom. yeah, I'll be remembered. Hell yeah, I will All right. be. <laughs> I'll, I'll be a topic of discussion till the end of so fucking time. So this is, uh, at the end, it proves, like, who's the biggest narcissist? Like, will they remember you? Yes, of course. Remember me. <laughs> um. All right, Scotty. You want to do this next one, Scotty? Yeah. We're going to guess your Zodiac sign. What's your actual Zodiac sign, Scotty? I shouldn't sign. tell you, should I? No, well, you need because well, we need to test the results. I already know what you are, anyway. Well, yeah, yeah I'm sure gonna make a joke about it too. I'm a cancer. <laughs> you damn right you are. <laughs> right, you're you're goddamn right, you're a fucking cancer. Hey, you, you can do a quiz party. You can take uh, with, with friends Whoa, in real time. Quiz party? Can we do Whoa, it? no thanks. Can we put the link in the chat? Is that how is that how it works? I don't. Know. Hell no. I ain't doing that shit. Oh come on, guys. No. You guys are not. I'm too much Dude, I wouldn't be caught. Hard. I wouldn't be caught dead in a seedy ass fucking BuzzFeed quiz with a bunch of plans. <laughs> oh, come now, Paul. Come now. Come right, we now. We got to one for patrons. Then. How Don't about tell that? Paul when to come, Scotty. I will tell him when to come. I'm going He's to come. All, time. all right, Scotty. We're gonna self serve your own bowl of pasta, and I'll guess your zodiac. Oh, sign, do I get Scotty. to build my own pasta bowl? Okay, so I got. What spaghetti. do you want? Spaghetti elbows. Elbows. Farfalle. Tortellini. Tortellini. Gemelli, penne. penne. What do you want? Uh, dude. What do you want? I'm looking at all this what shit. What do you want? 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 So I make. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Scotty, what do you want? Let me go with uh. What do you want, with, Scotty? Uh, what do you want? Let me go with. I'm trying. I'm trying to go. What do you want, right. Scotty? Scotty. Like, uh, Scotty. Let, let's talk through this, TJ. What do you want? It's an important quiz. What do you fucking want? This is an important quiz. Can I give you an answer? Sure. Can I give you an answer, TJ? Sure. Okay. I'm not going to pick elbows. I'm not really too fond of those ones. All right. Penne, uh, you know, Penny, I don't know. Penny is just associated with, like, it's kind of a crap one. Yeah, that's like peasant fucking shit right yeah, there. Yeah, you know. Fuck that. Jamela, I don't know nothing who too fuck fancy calls these now. Farfalle? This is a fucking bow I mean, tie pasta, okay? I bow mean, yeah, tie. farfalle. So it's it, honestly, to me, it's either tortellini or it's spaghetti. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm acting like I'm fancier than I. I want tortellini, TJ. They look sophisticated. Yeah. What kind of bowl My you bowl? want? This guy? Okay. You want that oh no, this is this earthy is tone bowl. An earthy tone. Boring and plain. Black Gay. and minimalist. Not. Colorful and artsy. Gay. A wooden bowl Gay. or something Gay. black. That's intense. the only one that's not gay. Yeah, dude, something black and intense, dude. That's the, the one. That, that's the only one that's not Scotty a totally gay bowl. Black bowls. Oh, who doesn't? But that sauce game with that pesto, the pomodoro, the bolognese, the carbonara, oh. the plain old butter pasta. Oh, the oh fuck! I'm not, what am I, a little kid? Plain you butter the pasta, Scotty. Fuck that, dude. Get to uh, the marinara, Scotty. Honestly, looking at all these, I want bolognese. Bolognese. Get some bolognese. You want any vegetables with that, Scotty? Get tomato, eggplant, spinach, corn, carrots. Or I want all them vegetables of mine. That's fucked up. They make you choose just you gotta one. Got to choose. Got to choose. Oh, just choose. One. Uh, I got a bolognese. You know what? I, I don't want corn. I don't want carrots. I'm gonna go with a. Uh, give me a tomato, dude. Dude, we got 666 viewers right now. The number any cheese? of the beast. Hey, 660 viewers, Scott is picking pasta to see what his Zodiac sign is, even though we already know what it is. Want any cheese on that shit? Okay. I mean, ch no, I don't want cheddar. That's, that's disgusting. That's gaudy. Barada? That does sound good. I mean, really? The, mozza the mozzarella, TJ. I yeah, mean, I mean, come yeah, on. I got to have the mozzarella. Italian. Oh, boy. I mean, where are you eating this, guy? I got to have the mozzarella. You eating this on the beach? 
where sand's gonna get in fuck, it. I don't want to eat it on the fucking beach. Why the fuck would anyone want to eat that at a beach? <laughs> Lost on the beach, fucking no, dumbass man. Fuck motherfucker. That. Picnic at the park. Nah, I five star picnic. restaurant. Peaceful nah, forest that's... where bugs are gonna get in it. Eat it on the road like a fucking moron and crash your car into the fuck into a I, tree. And my favorite restaurant's the best choice here, dude. Because the right, five star restaurant, I mean, it's literally like, your like favorite restaurant. Fucking, so fucking yeah. yeah, it's like already like designed to be your favorite. Who are you gonna eat with? Your family, your whole family. That's nah, too many people. Your cousins, your friends, your significant other. You're gonna be all by your lonesome. Hell yeah, dude! The, by your lonesome is the best one of these because yeah, dude, you that, get that, all that's the what I'm pasta. I'm gonna go with, dude. I would say uh, with Taylor, but you know what? She doesn't even. She's not a big fan of Italian food. I don't think. Ugh. She hates yeah, and Italian then you gotta food. share it. You're too. a Gemini yeah. or a Sagittarius, Scotty. And uh, just by myself, TJ. Scotty, why? Why are you? Why you? Why have you lied all this time about your astrological sign, Scotty? What are you hiding from us? We both. We all know, Scotty. You're a Gemini. This is, right. or this is fake, dude. This is dude. Right. When I when I first met Scotty, I was like, "Oh, you must be Gemini. What Sagittarius? Maybe?" And he was like, "No, I'm a Cancer." I was like, "Really? <sighs> Fucking crazy." I wouldn't. That's weird. Are you sure? Yeah, I, mean, like I, I had to talk to Paul for like an hour about that. He's like, oh, really? And here all it right. turns out you were lying the whole fucking time. I didn't realize. Exposed by BuzzFeed, bro. It happens, man. What can you do? Been living a lie, Scotty. Oh, uh, you know up. how about this one? Your '80s music playlist. Okay. Well, uh, I thought that one you belong with Steve or Jonathan. Who the <laughs> that fuck are they? Kind of lame. I, I thought it was about '80s playlist. I don't know who the fuck about Steve or Jonathan who you're gonna is? Who you're gonna belong with? Uh, man, who gives a shit about that shit? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Decide, which of these meats are the internet's favorite? Okay, now that one seems like hmm. right up my alley. Right? Hmm. I don't care if which one is the internet's favorite, though. I want to know yeah, what the mine is. Let's determine which of the eight different t intelligence types is your strongest. Or Dude, one? all of them. Dude, if I take this one, it's going to come out all of them. Let's find out. You are you are well-rounded in every skill. Out of these options, what are you most likely to do? Anything social. Join the debate team. Go on a nice hike. Play some basketball. Watch a movie. Solve a puzzle. Meditate. Play a tune. Watch a movie. Boom. Your friend has upset you. Get them, Get, them nice <laughs> Get them to watch a nice movie with you. Get them to watch a nice movie with you. Logically figure out the root of the problem and how it can be fixed. Tell them every tell them everything they are great at. Take them for a nice calming walk. Understand what is wrong straight away and know how to help them. Play them a nice song. Music fixes everything, right? Other people's emotions, I only know how to handle my own. Do a funny dance to cheer them up. Uh logically figure out what the root of the problem is and how it can be fixed. There you go. Pick a food. Coconut yogurt bowl, strawberry ice cream, salad, sponge cake, garden pizza, potato chips, fruit oatmeal, grapefruit. What is this now? Where are these food. supposed to be? Just, pick I a just food. Pick, pick a food. Any, any old food. Pick a 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 food. Pick uh, a food. I want those potato cake. chips. I want those chips, chips right now. Pick the image that speaks to you. These girls oh, dancing. Christ. This dude <laughs> on a soccer field or something. <laughs> Bitch chilling next to an old. Do you like that boombox? So that's the winner so far. The boombox is pretty chill. You got a math I like the boombox. Meditation, boom box. forest, boombox. Gotcha. Boombox, boombox, boombox. Favorite TV show? Anything Marvel. And with an E. Criminal Minds, Brooklyn Nine Nine, The Office, Glee, Modern Family. Anything with a sporty plot. I know Paul's sporty gonna hate all shit, shit so choices. There's nothing yeah, I, I hate all Paul this would like bullshit. at all. So. I liked The Office. I liked watching The Office every once in a while. So I guess I'll go to The Office on that list. What's your favorite school subject? I don't like school at all. Biology, art, psychology, music, math, PE, English. Art. Art. What's your favorite color? Red, green, blue, purple, light blue, orange. Dark green. Uh, black, dark green. I guess dark green. You like I like dark the green dark green better green. than that. Right. Yeah, dark green. And on the weekend, you socialize as much as possible. I'm pretty busy with sports commitments. Head to an art <laughs> gallery. Stay home and watch a movie. I have work. Get all my homework done. Go on an adventure. Go see a concert. I mean, I wish I had time on the weekends, but I'm so busy with the sports commitments. Yeah. Paul loves sports. Yep. That's hit hit it. Yep. Sports commitments. There yeah. You. I've yeah. got tons of sports commitments. Visual. You are great See? at analyzing visual information like puzzles and thought maps. Visual learners prefer to have images, graphics, and maps to communicate and organize the thoughts. Boop. That is true. I do tend to do better if, I, if somebody has like a chart to show me. You know what I mean? Look at this visual information. If line go up, I, I I get it. You know like, what I mean? Oh, line go up. Oh, we're 33 seconds from a brand new fucking quiz is dropping. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. This is an auspicious occasion, you guys. 
We are actually here for a new quiz. Holy shit. New quizzes, new trending quizzes about to drop 19 seconds from now. Dude, Holy fuck you. Shit. Fuck you, chat, dude. You don't know anything about my fucking numerous sports commitments. Paul loves okay. sports, you guys. Listen, he's a sporty guy. I have numerous sports commitments over the course of any given day. And what mm -hmm. you think you know about me because I happen to play a fat fucking loser stoner on a show doesn't mean you know me in real life, okay? All right. Yeah, this Paul's is the a new, fucking totally committed This is the guy. new number one quiz. People are sharing their opinions on these Disney Pixar movies. Below is a list of every animated feature link Disney and Pixar movie since 2000 that got a theatrical release. Fuck. Eating is a sport. Sleeping is a sport. You fucking I mean, done championship sport, sleeping. Is a fucking sport, right? Playing video games is a sport. So fuck all of you. You don't know me, man. I got so much sports commitments. Anyway, Fantasia so, 2000, I, so overrated. I know all this shit, so I'm going to do this. One. Overrated. This is mine. Overrated. This is mine. This is mine, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting, I'm just letting you know, TJ. Yeah, it's we're overrated. We're touching the men's TJ. This uh, one belongs to me. It's overrated. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, 81. Ugh, 81%. No. Yeah, uh, that's overrated. Yeah, I'd say it's overrated because it wasn't that good. Yeah, that's a... Told you if so. it was the original Fantasia, I'd probably give it a higher rating. Told Dinosaur. So. I've heard people say this movie's good, but I ain't seen it. So Sucks. Yeah. Emperor's New Groove. Well, I don't know. What's that? 86%. Um, That's probably about that's right. That's not right. I like yeah. that movie. The Lost Atlantis. Oh, man. I hate Atlantis Lost that Empire. Sucks. Overrated. What is it? What's, what's its rating? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's too high. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is. Fucking trash. Monsters Inc. Kind of overrated. Yep. I'm the 11% cynical piece of shit. Uh, so about right, 68%. Lilo and Stitch. I like Lilo and Stitch. What does it got? 86? Um, that's probably about uh, right. I like it. Treasure Planet fucking oh, sucks. Oh, garbage. Even if, if anybody on Earth overrated. likes it, it's overrated. Finding Nemo. Overrated. Oh, my God, overrated. 99% among critics and 86 among audiences. Fucking mm. so overrated. I'm so sick of Finding Nemo. You hate Finding Nemo, huh, Scotty? Oh, God, dude, yeah. You hate that piece of shit. You know what? I think it's actually a little underrated. Oh, fuck you, TJ. A You're like underrated. underrated. Brother Bear sucks. Overrated. Brother Bear. Home on the Range. Never seen it. The Incredibles. Only 75% of all. That's underrated. Underrated fucking film, bro. Chicken Little Chicken fucking little. sucks. Overrated piece of crap. Cars. Cars sucks. Way overrated. Yeah, yeah, it does. Never seen this piece of shit. Yeah, Glad I haven't. It looks terrible. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I'd say that's about right. Yeah, that's good. Wally is about Love right. It. Bolt fucking sucks. Nah, sucks. Overrated piece of crap. Up's probably about right. Princess in the front. What is that? 85 oh, that's a good to 74. Um, well, that's like probably underrated a little mm, bit. I'm going to say it's about right. Okay. Your Toy Story shit, 3. Right. It'd be better if dude, the toys if the toys fucking actually melted at the end and died. That would have been fucking dope. beautiful. They should have fallen into the fucking magma or whatever the fuck it is. The, the plastic melting fucking <laughs> device. Remember some dude did that to his family? He had yeah, the ending. <laughs> there was like a dude that like did this, did like a crazy cut where like. It just ends right there. <laughs> and everyone was like, what the fuck? They all die? Dude, I wish that was the real ending. Um, yeah, this is way overrated. 98. Uh, that's that's overrated. overrated. It's like, I don't know. It's trash. It's boring What's shit. Tangled have 89. Uh, it's, it's probably overrated. Overrated. But, huh? what if, but what if my toys came to life? Yeah, it was oh, fun God. once. It was fun once. Um, I actually like this movie. I think it's about right. Oh, you're an idiot. Cars, too. They all suck. No. Uh, Garbage. Winnie the Pooh is crap. Brave, I actually think is underrated. People fucking shit on that movie. Uh, I don't bad. agree with that. I think, it, I think it's overrated. It's not bad at all. People are so stupid. And you Rick know what? Off. What does it have? All these uh, people Rick who suck Frozen's dick for being so progressive and feminist. This movie is way more feminist without being pandering shit. So fuck you. Oh, you're a bunch of dumb God. shits. I'm a redhead, dude. What? I'm um, a redhead a movie. Boring Pixar movie. Yeah, it's better than it's giving credit for. You're stupid fucking idiots. That's um, good. Is Rotten Tomatoes score? Eh, I don't know. Overrated. Yeah, yeah drive it over the cliff. Fuck Wreck It, Ralph. Uh, Monster University. Monster I thought Lame. it was underrated. I actually like that one better than I like the first one. Okay. Well. Hot take. Uh, I was overrated ready for, as fuck. I, I was ready for a sixteenth dose of Monster Inc. to be rammed down my fucking throat. You know, sixteenth dose is the second movie. The seventy second fucking Monsters Inc. Bro, it's, it's the fresh as it ever was. Frozen Dude, the eighty seventh Monsters Inc. That movie sucks. Great. dick. Underrated classic, TJ. Big Hero 6. It was pretty lame. What a, um, 
I'd say overrated. Get 90%. Oh, yeah. Overrated. Oh, this one was miles over a terrible, terrible movie. Good Dinosaur. Never seen that shit. I don't know. Zootopia. I actually uh, liked it better when I saw the whole movie because the first time we saw it, I only saw like the fucking 98% of crit. Oh, that's, that's, that's about right. Little... It's really good. I mean, it's good, but I think it's a little overrated for that. Plus, the rabbit's hot. I'm sorry. Did I, that Shoot. was the only thing that you talked to. Dude, I went and saw that movie with you. Mm hmm. For the first time. Mm -hmm. And the whole conversation we had about that movie had nothing to do with the movie or the plot and all about how much you wanted to hump that fucking rabbit cartoon. That's true. I mean, the rabbit's that was hot. it. The rabbit's hot. It's basically I'm just like you. a porn. I don't it's know, just man. Basically... The fucking rabbit's hot. I don't know what to fucking tell you, man. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Overrated. Overrated. Yep. Moana, I saw it was way overrated. Cars 3, all of them. Uh, I can't believe there's still more of these happening. Uh, I know. Fuck this goddamn this movie. I don't even right. want to fucking see that screenshot of that shit. Remember me. I guess it's brilliant. Whatever the fuck. Credibles yeah, 2 pretty cry much sucked. Um, that, that looks like shit. I never saw it, but I'm still going to say it's overrated. No more Toy Stories. Please stop doing that. Frozen 2. I've never seen it, but it's overrated. overrated. It was. Onward, I saw... Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. It's way overrated. Oh, yeah. And this, uh, it's not Soul, that. also overrated... Never saw I haven't this. seen this one. Never. Oh, I did Luca. see this actually. Chelsea made me watch this. Uh, it sucked. Overrated. <laughs> like, uh, Encanto. This is the one everyone loves right now. I've never seen, but damn, that Encanto. bitch thick. I should see that. Um, I haven't seen it. And that's it. That's our BuzzFeed section. Hope you enjoyed it. We're moving on to Crazy Cops. Woo, is, woo, woo. Uh, I just want you guys to know. Crazy Cops, TJ. Listen, these, these police officers treat everyone with respect and send them on their way. No one is hurt and everyone is happy. We don't like empty content where it's just like becomes like 10 minutes of shillings. So I'm going to tell you this right now. Right now, we're at $129 Streamlabs and we're at $2 chat revenue. I'm glad that you guys are giving to Streamlabs instead of the YouTube Super Chats, by the way, because that is better. But if you guys, if Super Chats, what you can do, it's what you can do. But right now, we're we've made a hundred dollars. We're doing Crazy Cops Part One. If we get wait a minute, the, this is yes. this is a back the blue segment, right? Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah of course. Cops we doing a cops. good job yeah, thanking the cops for taking for like standing in harm's way of, so that we oh, can. Oh yeah, live. I mean we would never do an anti cop segment on this show. I mean, Paul, how dare you impugn the honor of this show by suggesting anything besides? But that. I just want to say, is basically, I want to say to people, we have three videos in this first Crazy Cops segment, and I think there's four in Crazy Cops Part Two at three hundred dollars. But here's the thing. If we reach the end of the Crazy Cops Part 1 segment and we have not made the $200 to continue on to doing douchebags, dipshits, and Karens, we are not going to stick around and wait for you guys to donate it. We are going. So if you want to see douchebags, dipshits, and Karens, donate now. Do not wait. Because if we reach the end of the Crazy Cops segment and that money's not there, the show is over. All right. Wow, TJ. Or you I guess, all, like, alternatively, if you wanted to be a rebel about it, mm hmm you could just join the Patreon, and that ensures that you're going to get it either yeah, way. You'll, then you'll see it inevitably, you know, in a, in like th three weeks or four weeks or whatever. That's true. Anyway, so it's your choice. Do what you want. This is okay. uh, Brewster police officer attacks a man on his way to file a complaint about that officer. I guess he might as well, huh? So, <laughs> I mean, if this like, guy is fuck. going, it's a short video. This guy is Look, going to file go a complaint file against, a complaint you. No, against this cop. No, you're not. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure the volume is already. I'm just going to go pre go ahead and pre-boost the volume on all these. Uh, I mean, sure the cop they're... is being pretty pragmatic about it. They're all where they need to be. You know, if someone wants to file a complaint against you, how do you stop them, TJ? Huh? I don't know. I mean, and, how do you uh, stop them? That's not for, that's for a different section. So there we go. All right. So here is a man being attacked by a cop <laughs> while he's on his way to report said cop. I wonder why. <laughs> what was he to file a complaint about him? Hi, Ron. What are you doing? I'm going in to see your supervisor. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going Go ahead, in because you just said I'm going to bash my face. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... <laughs> Did you see how that fucking guy lashed out at that cop? You see how he attacked him just now? Is that cop okay? That guy fucking just like he was in the middle of a sentence and he just fucking tackled that cop. Is yeah. that cop okay? I hope that cop is all right. I I, I heard he's he's recovering, man. I heard he's doing all, he's not doing too well, man. Please when tell what me a fucking idiot, man. He was just like he he looked like he was just walking in to do something innocuous and then he tackled that cop. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. 
He was just like, it's he, not, man. It's, he it's faked crazy. out the it's cop. Insane. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go file a report. And the cop's like, okay, that's your right as a citizen to do that. And then, you know, as the Swings cop is the trying cop. to walk away, the citizen just tackled him. Just attack oh. the cop out of go nowhere. Back, go back. Can we see it again, TJ? Yeah, let's see the, that moment. He said, I'm going to bash my phone. He said, I'm going to bash my phone. Oh, he raises the fist to defend himself. Oh, look. That cop was trying to give him a stone for me. Oh, no. Look at Damn. that, dude. That cop, that guy's phone was precariously going to fall. TJ was like, oh. The cop goes to help him and grab it. And what does he do? He assaults a police officer. Please get this, tell me get this that, cop that cop a vacation. is all right. Please tell me that that cop is all right. Please tell me that that cop is all right. Guys, you know what? Uh, he's news he, in right now. Uh, he's, he's doing just fine. He's going to be he's gonna be okay, is what I heard, after his month-long paid vacation in the Florida Keys. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's good. He he needs R and R. He needs rest and relaxation. That he poor needs to police officer. Trauma. He needs help, guys. He needs help. Plentiful He's fresh air right now. and rest. Is, is there what like he a needs. GoFundMe we can donate to to get that cop some more money? Because I just feel so bad for him. Actually, that. yeah, there there is one. You can buy a thin blue line flag. Those all wow. go directly to help cops and their families. Wow, that's so cool. Just kidding. They they don't. <laughs> but the don't tread on me flags do. A pregnant woman on her way to the hospital for vaginal bleeding gets pulled over and arrested. Cool. Why well, didn't we have? Yeah, it is. Can you say that again? Why well, didn't we have a seatbelt on, ma'am? I just took it off to get my stuff out of my thing. Actually, ma'am. Okay, no, sir. Excuse me. It. Can I say something? If you said that you cannot see out of my tinted window, how did you see a seatbelt? I will, sir. I don't see how you saw a seatbelt if I have tinted windows. Put your phone in your pocket, ma'am. I could record, sir. Ma'am, put your phone in your pocket. It is not illegal. I am pregnant and you can do not even touch me. Why are you arresting me for? Well, what are you arresting me for? Put your phone down. Can you please explain why you're arresting me? Because you Can you explain why you're arresting me? Yes, ma'am. You why? recklessly drove down the I highway. I wasn't recklessly driving. Put, you just put, said about my tent. I've been recording this whole time, sir. Put your phone Can you in please your not pocket. touch me? I need to make this to the hospital. I'm pregnant. I am pregnant. Can you please let me go? I'm having a miscarriage. Please let me go. I'm pregnant. <laughs> wow. You know, that Nightmare America. That arrest that woman because, uh, you know, she was, uh, she's having this miscarriage, right? She's bleeding or whatever that's going on with her. And, you know, he just didn't want to, he didn't want to get blood all over the fucking road and stuff that people drive on. You know, you she's driving cop. recklessly. Like, she's a danger to herself. And others, have you know? to take you in. And this cop finds okay. a woman in dire need of help. Like having a miscarriage. Pulls over and takes her directly to a facility where she gets that help. And everybody's like, oh, fuck cops. It's like, well, man. Yeah. It's What's they, try to, this they try to spin everything against the police. You know what I mean? What's well, also funny if you have some sort of medical issue or emergency where you have to go, it's like, well, let's take an ambulance. Like, well, those are like tens of thousands of dollars potentially, like depending on what sort of ambulance hey, you, know, you that, get. If that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do, Scotty. You should have go. drove recklessly. You know, she shouldn't have been driving like that. You think just because you have a medical emergency and you need to urgently get to the hospital, that gives you the right to drive recklessly, Scotty, on that road? I guess not. I guess it doesn't. And your wind and her windows are way too tinted, way too tinted, Scotty. Oh, the, I guess she points out the flaw in his logic. It's like you can't, said so you can't see in here, but then you said I didn't have a seatbelt on. It's just this cop obviously decided like, well, you got an attitude. Where you gonna go jail? Well, the, what the cop is just saying there, Scotty, is like, yeah, I mean, obviously her windows are not so tinted that he can't see through them, but they're just too tinted. You know what I mean? Because other people who don't have the superhuman cop vision. But he obviously saw in there and saw right. she was so not wearing her basically like a, you know? a traffic ticket. So if the most he should do is write this woman a ticket. But really, if she actually has a medical emergency, she should just let her go. No, she needs to go to jail, Scotty. Oh, okay. She needs to go to jail. She's been a bitch. I think she, need, I think we need to, she needs a little cool down. You're you know? under arrest for being a cunt to me. Put your hands behind your back. I don't like you none. You're going to jail, bitch. Miscarriage. I mean, <laughs> well, that's the reason she's going to jail. How about another miscarriage of justice? Yeah, oh, this right. Like, oh, she was driving. I mean, unless I see like a videotape from the cop uh, of the cop car for just doing some crazy ass shit. No, she's driving reckless, Scotty. No, uh, I don't believe it. Reckless. All right. Well, here's a uh, here's a little story. It's a little cautionary tale for all you people out there that don't think you need to show your ID when the police ask. You do. 
Depends on the state you live in. No, nope, you need to show that ID no matter what state you're in. No matter what's going on, you show that ID. I do not have ID. ID is the Jolly Roger and would <laughs> identify me as a, a British Esquire. I am the all caps living man. All caps. Holy shit. I guess this, so. I guess the police lose their mind on this guy, like sovereign citizen or something. <laughs> wow. Hey, Come here. Hey, Dominic. 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 Get driving that bitch on you, don't you? It all became one thing. Coming up, 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 You got driving that bitch, driving that bitch. You good tomorrow? She got driving that bitch. You got driving that bitch. What a nightmare! Some cop is talking. You can't even understand what the fuck he's saying. You, just, you can't obey with orders. You can't understand. What, sir? What's happening now? What's going on, sir? Afternoon, there, sir. You got your hippity flippity dippity jippity. I'm sorry. Don't resist, sir. Sir, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Give me some. I'm, 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 I'm gonna ask you to pull out your wiggle 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 uh, I, I didn't know, like, what's going on, like, what, 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 I, what, what happened, what, 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 I'd be, like I said, I'd be happy to tell you once I, I see information. I'm not giving you my information until you tell me what you pulled me over for. All right, sir. Failure. Well, you see, sir, what you are is, uh, <laughs> you're black, right? So, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling you over because you're black. I'm just gonna, I can't, I'm not allowed to say it, but like, you know, if we just want to cut through the bullshit for a second, you're black, I'm white. Let's just fucking, uh, you know. Well, okay. The justification for the stop can't be you won't give me your information, though, because that, that they don't want to know that until they stop you, right? Well, but he's going, but, you know, but now, failure no, to give information, that's an arrestable offense, Scotty. Dude, next time a cop asks stage. this gentleman, he walks up to his window and says, not that to be the best day, he's going to know what to do, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Amen. Failure to give me my information is an arrestable offense, okay? So you can either do this the easy way or the hard way, all right? I need to know what you're putting me over for. I'm going to tell you once I see information, all right? I'm gonna give, I got information, but I'm not giving you my information. Yeah, it's a legitimate you stop. Me what you all right, here's, here's, here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Put, put, put this on camera, man, because you're not dealing with Yeah, this, this is a <laughs> freedom, dude. It is on camera. <laughs> dude, you're going to love this. You're going to love this kind of shit. So this guy gets stopped, and it's like, well, why did you stop me? Which is a normal reaction because, like, if the police have no cause to stop you, then you shouldn't have to comply, right? Right. So, Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to answer you one more time. Give me a lot of bad day. Oh, I'm going to have to drag you out of the car. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Taste him! <laughs> I need to know why you putting me over. Give him your ID. Tito Five Radio. I'll be on staff and pursue the parts. He's sent me another car. And uh, uncooperative accident. Why don't you just answer the fucking question? Be like, he's uncooperative because, okay, so supposed to give you all this information. And for what? You don't you, have, you, uh, like, the cops do not have the right to just, like, ask you for your ID for no reason, right? I'm sorry, TJ. Are your papers in order? Like, oh, I don't know what the so fucking, sad. I don't know what the rules are in every fucking particular state, but it seems to me like they can't just ask for your information for no reason. They have to have uh, some kind of probable cause, right? So, like, tell me what that probable cause is, and I'm glad to show you my fucking ID. Uh, 2105 20, now. I, I, I got a, I'm going to need another car down here. I got I, I got somebody who's refusing to give that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. Repeat repeat that again, 2195. You say somebody is absolutely refusing to give you their number. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I'm going to need another card out of here. <laughs> Two more. This right here, the guy that's refusing to give you his... Well, here's an example. In Louisiana, if you're stopped by the police, you must identify yourself. If you refuse, you can be arrested. The only information you have to provide, though, is your name and address. So it doesn't say an ID. So in his state, he would have to specifically say, you must produce an ID. Well, what state is this? Is we know what I don't state know. this is in? Some country oh. ass state, I can tell you that it's much. They say, wom, lom, 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 lom. <laughs> <laughs> I see you out there, boy. 
We got I'm, guess, like, I'm, I'm accusing you of being uppity. <laughs> you need Alabama, to go to jail now. Georgia, Mississippi. Take your pick. Yeah, Arkansas. Southern. Somewhere in the south. For sure. A southern state. Last chance. Last chance. Put the tramp on your ass. My tags expired and my lights out. I'd be happy to tell you, sir. Are you a lawyer, sir? Hey, I'm representing myself right now. Okay. Because right. to be honest with you, I have a right. I have a right to remain silent, right? So I Maybe you should exercise it. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. I could but just I'm ignore you. Yeah, you probably I'm just yeah. sit here and ignore you. Um, no, you can't, sir. I don't ask her any questions. Okay. Well. Uh, does this cop? Okay, okay so the cop. For you. It's fine. <laughs> the cop doesn't know the Constitution is. Right. He does have a right against self incrimination. You're probably suspended. Don't so you don't want to give me your license. You're probably suspended. How do you glean? How did you glean that information, Officer Sykes? Uh, <laughs> for what I first observed, the individual uh, driving a Kia uh, Lanterna, I saw that the person driving and the passenger were both black. And so, <laughs> yeah, so there, I presume that his license was probably expired, and uh, you know. I checked my skin shade chart, and they were both well within the probably driving suspended category, and so I, I proceeded to pull them over. Oh. I asked very clearly. I uh, said good day to them, and then I said, "Could I get your broad dress, <laughs> <laughs> And he did refuse to give it to me. Someone on said, said ran the plates. Uh, yeah, that's possible. Maybe. Oh but yeah, for sure. Why not just say it then? Like, why is it gotta be this? Like, no, I refuse to. Because the guy is basically like, why are you pulling me over? So just like, even if you don't, like, just say something. Just say, like, you were speeding, you fucking ran a stoplight, you know, something. You didn't fucking have yeah, your plates and can, can come to, uh, some justification for the stop, like, tail lights out or some bullshit. Or, you know, you made an improper turn, improper lane usage. We had to stop yeah, you. Like, figure out some kind of fucking infraction so that you have, like, some yeah. justification for this. You were black on the wrong side of the town. Anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look, that well, the railroad track might be a little too honest, but you know. a couple miles back, you put yourself on the wrong side of the track here. <laughs> Make a wrong turn back there at that last gated community there, brother. <laughs> God. So, am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. This is an investigatory stop, all right? Man, uh, this ain't this ain't the Congo, boy. All right, you ain't free to just swing from any tree that you want to down here. We got rules and regulation. When a, when an officer of the goddamn Georgia PD come up to you and say, "Get your dog license," you better present that shit, boy. I wish, I wish that's essentially what he's saying. I wish that was an exaggeration. What you doing around here, boy? You and your black girlfriend down here. You get you what you stay you looking to steal something? You got any tools in your back? Go, just show me your hands, motherfucker. Show me your hands. Look at this motherfucker. La, la, la. This motherfucker, dude. I hate this fucking shit. Why? Well, Lines like, look, back up. Look at this waste of time. Just write this motherfucker a ticket. Like, it, unless he's committing a crime, write him a ticket. And why Why all the obfuscation? If it's because it's true, if he ran his license plate, he probably saw the dude was driving on suspended. So why are you just telling him that? You're under arrest for driving on a fucking suspended license. Unless you're not. You know, Joe Schmo. In well, which case, you show can... me your fucking ID. Why Try all the fucking cat and right? mouse game? You're absolutely ridiculous, all right? I don't care. All right, because step out of the car. It's been too many. I'm not stepping out the car until, until you tell me what's going on. All right, open dun, the door. Dun, 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 dun. Well, this is why when you get all these advice videos on a deal with police, you gotta let me know what's going uh, they on. always tell you it's just easier to comply because most, most times these stops are going to be found to be unlawful in court. But... Unfortunately, you have to. The cops do not care about the laws. They do not give a shit about your rights. They will trample on your rights. These cops, when they pulled this guy over, the minute he did, wasn't just like, "Yes, officer, here's everything." Oh, and the minute you uh, ever assert your rights in this country, they immediately just go, "Your problem. You're going to jail." Why you giving me a problem? Oh, uh, look around here, sir. What what time you think it is? Around a little afternoon. Why is it so dark in that car, then, sir? Mm? <laughs> oh, God. It's so true. I mean, clearly. That's yeah, they're putting on, on the gloves. They're like, time to put on, put on my special pants. beating gloves. <laughs> yep. Don't Gotta make sure we don't no leave no fingerprints. On them. Yeah, they're literally putting on the fighting gloves now. Ew, and remember, these cops know they're being filmed, too. So, like, this is how they act. This is, like, this is their, this is like, with some oversight. when they know a camera is present. Imagine if that camera wasn't there. <laughs> oh, God, he already been drug out of the car. On 
Look at that dude almost fell in front of a car. Did you see that shit? Dude, if that, a car oh that my tail. god, dude! If that dude had fallen in front of that car and that car had run him over and crushed his head, that'd be the funniest he's fucking shit. Yeah, dude, his head just blows up <laughs> like, like America's that. America's fucking... funniest home videos. We need to bring that Bob Saget back to life to host that shit. The the only thing that to make that funnier would be like if it if it pulled by, he fell down, it squashes his head like a grape, and then the dude just peels out as the other cop is shocked. You know what I mean? <laughs> he just leaves. Well, look, look at this situation too. So like the the escalation of force is like he won't give an ID. They break out his window. They literally like just like are grabbing him like violently and viciously. The other cops got his hand on his gun. Where it's like, does anything funny? I'm gonna kill him. Well, if he, was, if he wasn't a criminal, why would he have to worry about? Caught, dude, I want to see that again. Can we watch that cop almost get his head squished again? That was crazy. Yeah. And they really did skill it. SUV. Oh, he's just a little slow. Yeah. Oh, the SUV was getting a good. You know what? He, they probably want to run him over just because they're like they're like rubbernecking so hard that. Ah, oh, oh, the cop got lucky. So close. Got lucky. So close. <laughs> it's That'd dangerous to so on people's rights. Sometimes you might take risk in the field. Like when I was breaking that guy's windshield or a window, I almost fell back, and got crushed by an SUV. It's dangerous out there. It's the thin blue line, Scotty. If if these it guys is. wasn't out there harassing an innocent black couple for driving around, who would be doing it? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say God about bless them, social then who? We providing right now. Oh. These are heroes. That everybody a thin wants to blue line between Every order and chaos. Everybody wants to criticize the cops, but nobody wants to step up and press them some black folk. You know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, well, well. That is so damn true. That is so damn true. Man, you guys, you guys suck at this too. Like, when's the last time you guys trained on how to extract somebody from a fucking car, man? This looks like amateur hour over here. We're so angry, dude. Like the aggression is. Yeah, like, why are you so aggressive and angry? Like, what did this dude do to you personally? This looks personal. He refused, oh, this is to comply. he refused to comply. I gave you an order, and you did not comply? Then you shall suffer the consequences. How dare you defy me? Look, it's not it's neither of the cops that showed up to back him up that are being all aggressive even, right now. I don't even know if this is a black dude. He looked white when I saw his hand a second ago. So this dude might like might be literally just getting gaffled up just because the cops are on a power trip. Then not oh. even racism. He's a know. juggalo then? Yeah, he might be a juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get out. Get out. A whole different feeling out of the car. Than, dude. Yeah. If, you ah. see a, if you see a juggalo driving around in midday, <laughs> you're, you're, you know good. what? Yeah, I mean, you probably are justified in stopping him, you know? Yeah. If whoop whoop, some Fago rolls out and, and two people in face paint pop out of the car, it's like, wait a minute. You know, they're there to like fuck your bitch or steal your trailer hitch or something. You, know? yeah, you, gotta, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta nip that shit in the butt at right? that point. <laughs> You're in getting out of the car. Get out of the car now. Oh, yeah, it is a white dude. Dang. Oh, I think it is. I have it. Yeah. Excuse me, while you guys are like literally fucking four on one manhandling this guy, can we get a look at whether he's black or white, please? Yeah, I need to know if this is racism or just like typical power trip <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's a police Dude. brutality and racism or merely police brutality. How many cops does it take to subdue one fucking paunchy, fat, possibly white, possibly black guy, bro? Like the whole squad is there now. Maybe they got a whole a platoon. <laughs> Yeah, the whole the whole police force of Bumblefuck Alabama is there Put your now. On your back. Chicken whistle Alabama. Chicken whistle. <laughs> All over the guy that would not ID himself without knowing what had happened. We well, don't put you in here. This is chicken a black whistle dude for sure. This right here is chicken whistle, boy. You don't come driving down around a chicken whistle in the middle of the night. Now you see how we roll down here, chicken whistle. We don't tolerate this nonsense down chicken whistle, boy. How much of garbage, man? I heard chicken pigs. whistle. We don't cotton to your kind coming around we driving your kids. Whole squad around. here in chicken whistle. We don't care about your liberal <laughs> rights and values. You gonna comply 
and you're going to obey, Let me or you know what you're going to do, you're going to take ID, a ride boy, down to jail. You're going you to go to jail. Choice is yours. Okay? You want to take a ride, TJ? Take a ride down to jail, you liberal bullshit. Take a ride on down. Let me come to IA, TJ, where they just steal Namby Pamby willy nilly. We got laws and rules around so here. So here's uh, the afterwards here. After his arrest, Mr. Jones was stripped of his underwear and detained for several hours in a cold holding cell. These events began when Jones demanded an explanation for the stop before he would produce his license and registration. All the officers were not legally obligated to provide an explanation at the time of the stop. Doing so is why they considered proper police procedure in order to avoid an escalation and reduce tension. Right. After yeah. learning of the incident, the ACLU of Michigan, this is in Michigan, so it's not even the South, arranged for Jones' criminal defense, and his charges were dismissed. We also obtained disturbing dashboard camera footage of the entire episode, which we just watched. Uh, so this is not even the South, guys. This is actually Michigan. So sorry, South. I guess it wasn't Michigan your fault has, uh, uh, I mean, Michigan has a lot of shit like this, too. And it's a lot of country yeah. bumblefuck People shit People forget there as well. that, you know, rednecks are everywhere, man. They are. Yeah, they're everywhere, man. Nuke Michigan. Nuke it good. Come Cops on now, pushing. boy. It took more than three of them to take that guy on. It took like five. Yeah. <laughs> he should have just gave him his die to Dyson's and bed to Stacey. That's all I got to say about it, man. Next time a cop asks you for your die to die and your bed station, you better pull it out. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it just feels uh, I'm kind of like it's sad, kind of numb to co like cops doing this type of shit now. It just seems like every fucking week, every day, there's a there's a new slew of these fucking cops <laughs> yeah. just acting out of pocket, and and no, nothing ever happens to them either. Either, and so it's just like okay, well, this is just part of the world now. Well, we uh we are at two hundred fifty one dollars ninety nine cents, which means we have made douchebags, dipshits, and Karens. It's three hundred dollars to see more crazy cops. If you want to see that. Um, here we go. We're going to proceed on to our next section. Looking at some douchebags, looking at some dipshits, looking at some Karens. So uh, this, this uh, I wasn't really sure where to, where to put this one. Uh, this is kind of like a um, college professor that kind of loses his shit a little bit uh, because, you know, he... Um, Someone yawns in his class, basically, in an exaggerated way, I guess. And I don't know if he's the asshole or if the person who yawned is the asshole. It kind of depends on how loud and exaggerated the yawn really is. But I can tell you, I didn't really hear it in the tape. So I guess it wasn't, like, too crazy loud. But I guess you can judge for yourselves. All right. And I tried to pull ones that Paul wouldn't be, like, fake, bullshit, or... Now, some of the ones that are just text only, I guess you could say that about because, you know, anyone can write something down and fucking claim it's true. But, um, you know, this is a college professor doing a fucking uh, thing and um, doing some kind of presentation and gets mad at a student for yawning. Two of those would be a telegram, right? Nobody knows what a telegram is anymore because we don't use them. Um, Who just did that? <sighs> no, I want to know. Stand up. Is that you, Scotty? Did you do it? Well, uh, no, uh, not me, man. What the fuck are you doing, Scotty? You crazy son I'm of sorry, a Sorry, man. This is boring, dude. Telegram. This guy sucks. Boring. <laughs> My fucking fault. He's supposed to, I mean, look. And uh, I know we're paying a lot for education in this country and shit. I mean, this guy has put me to sleep. We'll stay here until either that person admits who it is or the person sitting around them tells me who it is. Who was it? Nobody knows? <laughs> Man, what a little bitch, dude. If you're going to do it, just own up to it. It was like, yeah, me. Here? It was me. Because you're boring as shit. It wasn't somebody I've been hearing it in this room, like, regularly. And I'm not sure I believe that. Well, you know why you're hearing regularly? Because you're fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this yawning all the time in my classes. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Let me tell you something, you guys. My bad side is as bad as my pleasant side is pleasant. Oh. All right. 
No. Oh, God. Please. Oh, God, no. You know what? If the guy wants to yawn, just fucking fail his ass. Be like, you know what? If you're going to come yawn in my class, get the fuck out. You're not allowed here anymore. Take another class. My Bye. bad side is as bad as my pleasant side is pleasant. You just fucked with a psychopathic killer. I will I'm straight fuck up you up. fucking murder you right here in this class. Don't push me that way. I like to keep things informal in here as much as possible, but understand where the difference between informal and impolite is. And I won't tolerate impolite. If I hear one more of these overly loud yawns, <laughs> get up and walk you, the hell out. Aren't you glad that your mom and dad pay on outside dollars so I could sit here and power trip in front of a, a <laughs> for an hour? Dude, I had fucking professors like this shit, dude. Hold on, I want to hear the rest of his little screed here. This is where he starts to get real mad. Get up and walk the hell out. Yawn outside. Stay out of class. Whatever it is you need to do to get over it. I want to know why 220 other people in this room don't find the need to do that. And you should be asking yourself, why am I the one loser that has to do that and 220 other people know better? <laughs> why am don't I the one loser that point, has an involuntary bodily function? <laughs> All right. Now, if that didn't ruin the tone for the rest of the class, by the way, if somebody wants to anonymously tell me who it is, please do. All right? Yeah, please snitch on the guy. A kilobyte. <laughs> I'm going to find you, Yoner. <laughs> Dude, this guy got bullied or some shit in school. And now he's a fucking professor. So now it's like, no, I'm not going to put up with your shit anymore. It's just the same shit he fucking went through with earlier on in life. And now it's coming back full circle. So he got super triggered. Like, you need to yawn. You can yawn outside. Don't get on my bad side. Uh, now, let me tell you what a kilobyte is. Like, come on, bro. And he's you just out there to me. he's just out there to change lives with the light of knowledge, Scotty. The beautiful and this powerful and this, light. This fucking knowledge. DFF subreddit troll decides he's gonna come and make a yawning sound. Dude, what if somebody right now, Scotty? What if you were given a long talk that you were passionate about, and somebody in the chat was like. Yawn. You probably oh, you know ban that motherfucker. Personally? You know what I want to do? I'd send a couple of my guns to beat the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah beat his true. Ass. I mean, I'm not gonna do this shit. I'm gonna be like, oh, that guy. Okay. Oh, and after class, he's gonna get jumped. In my he's gonna get presence. jumped. And you know what? He's never gonna come to the class again because he's gonna be scared shitless. Damn, T Chess, you fucking call my bluff. All right, you're you're fucking you take three hundred oh, seconds. Oh shit. Get your yawns oh, out. Oh, shit, teach Get your yawns out. You think you're funny? You think you're oh. funny? Go outside with that shit, bitch. Nuked. What All the right. fuck is up, teach us? What, look, look, look. 689 other people are here. They're, they managed not to fucking have an involuntary bodily response. So you got to be asking yourself right now, teach us. Why did I fucking yawn in the chat? Why am I the only loser who yawned at this fucking shit, huh? Whoa, deep fat fried, ban <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Look, who the fuck are you, deep fat fried? Come here and do a show and you're going to yawn in front of people. What the fuck? Oh, Gotta shit. punish you, deep fat fried. <laughs> deep fat Watch yourself. Yawning. What the fuck? How do we do Yeah, dude, everybody's yawning. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> All right, we got to play. We got this is going to. This will this will stop the yawns. Man is degraded by two goth girls in a McDonald's drive. -thru. I gotta be honest Dude, with you. This one's wait a minute. Hot. This is gonna stop the yawns and screw the boners, man. Oh yeah, dude, by like two goth girls. I know, uh, yeah. Whoa! I, I I guess I did. I tried to mistress. make sure that none of mine were fake, but these are the three. The next three are the three that Scotty pulled. So if they're fake, it's Scotty's fault. Do you even care if this one's fake, Paul? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't. I I bought this all cash, bro. I bought this all cash, dog. Yeah. Can I fucking show? What are you? I'm 28. Film major. 411, 93. What? How old are you? Fuck you. How old are you? 28. Yeah, 28. Exactly. I'm a 22 year old girl. Exactly. Why are you out here like this, Joe Dirt? I love how I love how women are 22 year old girls when it suits them, and 22 year old women when it suits them. You know what I mean? Yeah.
I love I love that kind of thing. I love that double standard of like when women need to be seen as like a victim in a situation, they're just I'm a twenty two year old girl. I am but a mere forty five year old girl. She's just How a twenty year old girl. How dare you? Girl is saying get your life together. Get your life together. What are you? Get your life together. Get, <laughs> get, <laughs> get your life, <laughs> life together right now. I didn't know people did that real, that like clap with each word thing in real life. I thought that was just like a Twitter convention. I'm so glad I do. that I don't encounter it's this. It's real. Yeah. Did you guys ever see that, that, that video? I think we watched it maybe on a show where there was like some weirdo that drove by and some dude was just filming some B-roll on a sidewalk or something. And uh -huh. some weirdo was like, are you filming me? I'm a child. I'm a literal. It's like a 20 something. <laughs> like I'm a child. <laughs> what? Why are you filming children, sir? Are you filming me? You guys didn't see that shit? Mm -mm. Dude, I got to try I and think find we've that seen shit. It before. Yeah, they have seen it. I've never seen it. It sounds crazy. I'm going to find it. I think we watched it. Yeah, it's Paul it. Oh, I guess that's it. That's it. Are really you filming? What was the What was the fucking encounter even about there i guess they got mad at the drive-thru dude i guess like he was revving his engine or some shit okay dude Fair i enough, found I it get away from the window i'm not talking to you anymore i don't care you don't care no get me the manager like can you hear her talking to me get me the manager i'm the manager right now i need to speak with the manager I'm sorry, <laughs> even if you're in the right, the, the moment you say speak, you want to speak to the manager, you're just like, you should just fuck off, probably. Unless, like, you've, like, they've literally, like, taken your money or something and not given you what you're supposed to get. I don't and know. honestly, take, t talking to a manager, like, I've only had to do it once. And it was basically, like, because I was trying to get something delivered from Best Buy, and they were useless because they actually contract that shit out. So it's like, we can do nothing. It's like, wonderful. Can you come out to number one? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She's not gonna do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She's not... You better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm gonna watch you do it right now. Because that is a bullshit. <laughs> oh, she grabs her food. Uh, let me tell you some. Oh, hand me that real quick. I know another thing. <laughs> it's like you just fucking got a dispute with these people. They're handing you food. And you're just like, let me take it. See, dude, this person left without a coffee when I was doing customer service. <laughs> you don't wag your big flappy fucking lunch lady arms at me, baby. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get paid enough for that shit. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, what? Don't talk to me like that. I talk to you however don't I want. Don't talk to me how I want. Do you want? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. 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 Oh, hell yeah. Don't try to oh, dude, me play, play, play it. You did that first. You threw a drink at her first. Good. Yeah. Yeah, get out my drink. Take that shit, bitch. Oh, fuck. And then she stays there. He should have peeled off after that. Oh. Oh, damn. She got another one. Oh, I know what. I feel like this one's a work, dude. Oh, damn. I think it's a work. Just go away, bitch. I never, I never had to go. I, I'd see, I was better when I was in the fucking game. I would de-escalate. The best way to de-escalate a situation like this is to say, uh, thank you, uh, you can't, you're not welcome here anymore, and just close the window. And if they don't move, you call the cops, you know what I mean? But usually they'll just pull off when they realize they're not going to get any attention. But yeah, this is, this is like, this is textbook, I'm desperate for attention, customer service shit. And I, if you don't entertain it, it doesn't go any, it doesn't go this far. But yeah, I, there were a few people I would have liked to have dumped their fucking drink in their lap and shit. <laughs> it would have been nice. It. Dude, I, uh, I sent and you Paul, that, I dude. I, sent your, you... I got your link, Paul. Yeah, oh, I'll cool. Send, yeah, I will, uh, I will add it to the rotation of these. All right. Um, so here is an old Karen stays in the drive through after getting her item because the music is too loud and won't leave. When she has her stuff. Turn that down, you whippersnapper. I don't even understand what's going on here. We'll just take a look. How you think you came up? Now, this music might be copyrighted, so I'm going to have to be a little yeah. cautious with it. But um, I'm telling you, too, this type of shit right here, like, if you handle this right as a customer service person, the people in line take care of it for, for you. Because they understand. Like, 
The people that are in line behind this lady, they see the people trying to help her as much as they get. They hear her bitching and screaming and throwing things at them and stuff. And so, like, you don't even have to win this argument with anybody else. Mm -hmm. Just let her sit there. Just get Such out a of there, nasty bitch. Man. What? Even if his music is annoying and loud, just like you've already got your order, so just go. Can you like turn your radio down? Like get the fuck out of here. Yeah, move You're, on. I guarantee you that the people in the line are way more annoyed that you are stopping the line than they are with that dude's music. She's taking a stand, TJ. She's taking a stand over something this stupid. Man, this no, no, TJ. This man is playing music too loud in the drive-through line, and someone's gotta say something. Fuck you, taco bitch, TJ. When taco just yeah, that's justified. But you know what? I didn't hold up no line. I didn't hold nobody up. I just fucking cursed him out and left, like a reasonable person. Okay. Drive. Get in your car. Drive away. Then. All right. Let's see. Does she ever drive away? Excuse me. Is someone playing music too loud in the drive through? She literally just won't leave. She's just like, no, she doesn't care. She's like, no. This. Yep. I could easily drive away from this music at this point. I have my food, but I'm going to just make sure no one else can fucking move forward in this line. Oh, Blacker Screen Productions is tired, guys. Oh, Poor shit. Poor baby. Oh. Let me, let me tuck him in. Put him to bed, Paul. I'm going to tuck him in. Tuck, Shh, tuck him in good night. Good go night, to sleep baby, and good night. <laughs> Lullaby good night. and good night. <laughs> All right. Uh, Oblivion NPC real life. I am a child. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this one's crazy. This shit is crazy. I love I, this one is fun. I All love right. this. Let's see. It's a guy just like shooting on a street corner, just like randomly, you know, kind of yeah. like shooting some B roll or whatever. I'm a child. child. That's, are you why are you driving a car? You yeah, why is there a child you? driving a car unsupervised? <laughs> no, I'm that's a why child. I'm... It's like, if you're a child, you shouldn't be driving around. This person has not been a child for at least three or four years. <laughs> Can we be honest here? Yeah. Are you a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. People you came up much. to them, but they're a pedophile because I'm a child and filming. you're driving a car. Yeah, the dude was just sitting there waiting like, man, I sure hope a child drives by real soon. <laughs> that was his man, I love he catching was them. He was out there filming this B-roll of the fucking sidewalk for fucking some production or whatever. He just like, man, I sure hope some child drives by soon. Yeah, I have a very, <laughs> day now, I have a very specific... Very specific fetish. I'm a driving pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I only get I only get hot when I see a child driving a Geo Metro. <laughs> Very. And, you, you, and you're on the menu tonight, baby. <laughs> I'm a kid. It's great when they pull up to I'm you. I'm a child. Don't film. What the fuck? What the fuck? Don't I'm film. Whoa, what are you doing? I feel scared. So I'm just like, around. I'm so scared. Back and I'm getting like a car. I'm scared. Like a psycho. What are you doing? Yeah, she. She backed up the whip like right into oncoming traffic so she could get out and continue to harangue this guy. <laughs> okay. But she's scared and he's a pedophile. She's terrified. She asked, are you a pedophile? I'm a literal child. I'm are you filming child. me? Uh, are you filming me? I'm a, a literal child. And I'm a child. This is a porno for children if you film kids. This is a porno this is for a children porno if you film for children kids. children if you, if you, yeah. Uh, she's no. nuts, dude. Yeah. 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 She's driving a car. Oh, what's scary is that she's driving. Uh, yeah, that is pretty scary. <laughs> what I'm a fuck? child. They're out there. I'm a say, child. They're out I'm there. I'm gonna say that. B roll for some kind of production or some shit. What a weird fucking bitch. 
dude i'm i'm i didn't realize that i could blame all my adult failings on being a child whenever it was convenient man so i'm gonna start doing that man next yeah, time i like, have a how take, dare you i'm a 42 year old child uh, yeah next time i have a take that doesn't go over well i'm gonna be like listen <laughs> listen i'm a child why are you spending all this time trying to tear down a child are you a pedophile what's going on what's are going you child? on here I'm a child. I am sir. a child. Stop it. So there's no audio in this one, I don't think. Uh, this is like a from a security camera to school. It, it looks like somebody's about to get dunked. Uh, this is a. Oh man, you know these are high schoolers. So these are children. So this camera, whoever put this camera here, pedophile, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, the school is. It's a up. porno so for look children. At, look at what. Oh, dro just dropped his piece. They're roughhousing and. Uh, Whoa, look at what drops there. His whole ass gat fell out. Yep. He's like, um, oops. Um, whoopsie daisy. His whole strap <laughs> fell out. Yeah, nah, dude, that's not like, hey, let's just forget about this. Uh, <laughs> he just dropped a gun. You got uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. They yeah. let him leave? I guess. What is that fat ass rent a cop even doing? There's a dude, there's a kid with a gun in the hey, school. You've got a and gun. You so and you just let, watch. Him? They just let him leave. They're not going to detain this kid. Okay. He just. All right, oh, bye. Bye. See you I hate tomorrow. to ask for a little I hate to ask for a little bit more urgency from a cop, but this is like the other end of the spectrum from what we watched right, earlier. Like, I don't understand how you see videos of like a kid that's like not doing shit that gets the at their fucking ass beat by some crazy cop, and then you see a dude literally just like dropping a piece in the school and be like, oh. And it's like, all right, you're you're gone then. It's like, what the fuck? Uh it's like when you need the fucking when you need the crazy fucking tough cop, you get the little pussy bitch cop. When you need the fucking oh, I pussy know what, bitch cop, you get the fucking crazy I know, tough cop. I know what happened here. He started to arrest the guy. He was like, "Dude, you got a gun." And the and the kid was like, "I'm a child." Okay? Or, child. Why are you touching right now, me? You're grabbing a child right now. You're, you're grabbing, grabbing a child. child. Think about what you're doing right now. The guy was like, "Whoa, okay, yeah, my bad. I'm oh, sorry." Shit, sorry. Yeah, and I'm gonna go shoot some people, and you just think about what you did. Look, I'm gonna shoot them off campus, though. As long as you shoot them off campus, it's okay. Um, here's where we're gonna see the mother of the year, guys. Whoa, mom so of the year. A, I mean, there's some great moms out there, so this is gonna have to be this really is the best special. One. It's the best mom you're ever gonna see in your fucking life. Vic Denzi's on camarada, Kupik Kinderlin Saldronica. Take my child. <laughs> Oh Jesus! What the fuck! She literally what? ran away for the and left her child to the cop to the dog to the yeah. wild dog. Yeah, she did that kind of thing where it's like you know if you if you and your buddy are in, out in the woods and a bear chase you, it's like you don't have to be fast in the bear, just your buddy. It's like she just took that with her kid. Like she threw the kid down kid. like she, like a distraction, like a bait distraction. She's oh, like, here, take my child, take please. Down, oh, she's booking it, dude. She ain't even looking back. Dude, that kid is never going to recover oh, from that. Oh, man, that kid is like, I mean, how do you even justify that afterwards? Like, look, I just had to leave you because, you know, I wanted to live and I wanted you to die. So, The funny know. thing is, that dog was like, I don't even know that dog was actually being aggressive. <laughs> so, no. I don't know. It's kind of hard well, it to was, tell, but. It was being ag aggressive, but, and once again, no audio on this. But then those people came up and they were like, dog, dog, that's a child. That's literally a child. Are you biting a child? Stop. Dog's what are like, you, oh, pedophile? Shit. Sorry. The dog was like, oh, dad. shit. You're right. I didn't realize it was a child. And that yeah. mom did the right thing, you know, because she, she was holding a child. And then <laughs> yeah, she was like, she you know, wait a minute, I'm holding a little child right now. She huh? was trying to use the kid as a weapon, though. She was trying to kill the dog by throwing the kid at it. Worst mom ever. Uh, excuse me, can you not read? Mother of the year. I think that's good instincts, bro. Because, like, what's worth more, a fully baked pie or a half baked pie? Right. Uh, the mother's like, look, I'm a fully formed human being. You know, this is this chick, this chick I'm holding here is she's a work in progress, right? So, it's a I mean, larva. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, if you got to sacrifice a larva to save the whole, you know, developed thing, you got to, you got to, you know, you got to make the right choice there. You know, if that dog freaking needs to eat a kid to be satisfied, you throw your kid at the dog. She was really going to run away and let that dog eat her child. Yeah. She's just like, <laughs> fuck <Yeah>. that. 
<laughs> so yeah, they're saying yes, you can make that more. That kid's never I'm like, recovering from theory. that. Yeah, because like you got a def- yeah. you got a definitive answer about how much your mom loves you at that point. You know what I mean? Dude, that that's gonna be a, a legendary Tony Soprano esque fucking therapy session later <laughs> yeah. in life. Yes, for sure. And uh, she fucking uh, you know the dog came and she fucking fed me to it. You know she <laughs> she, well, she threw me down and she, she just let the dog attack me and she ran. You know she uh, threw me at the dog and ran away. <laughs> like you know they say they threw me to the dog. She literally threw me to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> she literally threw me to the dogs, guys. <coughs> Look, she waited for it. a dog and then she threw it. Yeah. She threw me to a dog. There's no coming back from that as a mom. Honey, I love you so much. Oh, really? Remember that time you literally left me to the <laughs> yeah, dogs? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. You're just done. You're just like, done. Wait, wait, you, can't, you might you know, as well like, like, put that kid up for adoption. Kid out or like, yeah, you know, because you, you need, you, there's, there's no reset button for that. You're done. Your goose is cooked. Unless... Here's what you could do, maybe to win it back. You got to be like, look, I'm sorry. It was like a total in the moment thing, and I would never do that again. And then hire someone to like come attack you with like a fake knife or something. It's you, you give me, oh, you just, no, fuck that. I, I want to kill your kid. Kill me, not on not my, my watch. Child. I protect them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. you got to fucking come up with some shit, dude. Yeah, you got to have some subterfuge. Oh, you know what, dude? At that point. She can just finish where she, she can just finished the job. We got uh, four more of these, and then I think the show's done unless we get to that uh, to our next level, which is the uh, cop thing for uh, three hundred. I think that's three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. We're still at two fifty, so that's where we are. Uh, we got some of these. These are just some text things, but uh, this is uh, so you know this could be bullshit, but we're just gonna treat it like it's real because it's more fun. Uh, so here's someone on a, writing to uh, some subreddit called True Off My Chest. Asking, is this illegal? About a year ago, when most of our classes were through Zoom, they decided to play a song called Whoop, There It Is. Mind you, my sister was six at the time, and the song choice for a gym class with kids that young doesn't seem appropriate. Excuse I still me. Have video evidence Excuse of me. where it shows the music playing through the video- Zoom call. We, uh, what's up? Are you playing Whoop, There It Is? Uh, yeah, I guess. Is that Whoop, There It Is? Yes. I'm a child. <laughs> How come that keeps working? Um, I don't know. I am a child. What can I do about this? Is there any way I can take legal action over the teacher deciding to play this type of song around young kids? Anything helps, please. I'll be answering to any questions about the situation. Well, there it is. Uh, wow. dude, you know what they can do? What, I, okay. Do they have a license to play I'm the song sh- for a classroom? What is... What is like? How is that even object? Like, what am I missing? Is that song objectionable in any way? Uh, the lyrics could be, maybe, but I mean, it's it's used at every sporting event and shit. Like, I'll give you the "Whoop, there it is" lyrics. I'll read them to you right okay, now. Yeah, okay, yeah, I want to I want to hear the the whole fucking thing. I'm gonna find the I'm gonna find the lyrics here, like, and is we're there gonna like read the whole some, thing. Like booty blasting lyrics or All something. All right, I mean, yeah, party people, tag team music, and full effect. Uh, blah, blah blah blah. Okay, that's the intro part. Um, let's see. Let's see. Tag team back again. Check it. Uh, correct it. Let's begin. Party on, party people. Let me hear some noise. DC's in the house. Jump, jump, rejoice. There's a party over here. Party over there. Wave your hands in the air. Shake your derriere. Whoa. Uh uh-uh. uh. Derriere? Excuse me? Holy Disgusting. shit. Dis- okay. uh, yeah, that's let me. Sli- I'm just kind of like flipping through. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Point blank gin and juice I drank. Getting bent and bent as I puff on dank. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we Rock go. Rock a mic. Uh-oh, I seriously I doubt that part skin. was played in the fucking version they played, though. I mean, this is the whole song, but yeah, they probably yeah, just like, used the whoop. Like, yeah, but there's like fucking so many. There's like a kids bop version of that fucking song, for fuck's sake, you know? Yeah, who knows? Like, I mean, it's not. It's, they're probably it's, not using the version that fucking actually has like drug references and shit. I guess if they were, then maybe this person had some kind of point. I don't know. That drug reference is probably the only thing that I could find that anybody would be objection, like find objectionable. It's this, but they go the angle. It's like, look, it's a school. It doesn't have to even be illegal for the school not to do it. All you do is complain and go, this song is inappropriate. And the school probably won't be done. It's offensive. I find the song to be offensive and wrong. I ordered 60 or so sushi rolls because I thought they were on sale. But it turned out to be something else that is on sale. But anyway, I was also there with my kids. So we were all eating sushi. And then they gave me the bill and I saw it was over $100, which I didn't have. 
And since me and my kids hadn't eaten 30 or so of the sushi rolls, I told the waitress I'd give back the sushi for a refund of all of the sushi we didn't eat. She refused. <laughs> it should be every oh, restaurant's policy that the customer is always right. Always. So then I had to leave my kids at the restaurant. I had to drive to the nearest ATM to get enough money for the bill. This is not okay. And I will not be returning anytime soon. I saw One someone's star. One fucking yeah, this is someone's star. eyes are bigger than their stomach with sushi, and then it's like, I'll just give half of it back. I thought it was on sale. They made it seem as if it was on sale, Scotty. No, they didn't. They made it seem as if it was on this sale. Is, this is why you know it's bullshit. It was a mistake. They made it, it seem like it was on fake. sale. Then the bill's too high, but then she has the money. It's like, you're just trying to fuck this restaurant over, and they're like, I no, we're not going like to I had to go to over. an ATM, Scotty. I had to go to an ATM to oh, get the money. It was inconvenient. That's what it was. It was inconvenient. She knew what the price was. It was very inconvenient, Scotty. She's trying to play dumb, and that, that, that gives them a bullshit review because she doesn't want to pay the fucking bill. Fuck off. Excuse me, did you just give me a bill for $100 worth of sushi? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm a child. Oh. I'm a child. Why would you you're, hand you're a child a bill? Are, are you a pedophile? Are you pedophile? Uh, why would you hire? Uh, well, I'm a child. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you feeding a child sushi? Why are you trying to charge a child $100? Uh, I'm a customer and a child. A child customer is always right. That's true. One I mean, star. super right. I mean, like, normally One we'd be right, but we're star. super right. <laughs> she it does work happen. every time. Dude, I'm going to use this for everything now. <laughs> I'm a child. I'm a child, sir. Get your hands <laughs> off me, sir. I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, this. Kids eat free. That's true. Kids <laughs> eat free. I'm a child. I uh, eat free. Your fucking your IRS comes to collect my shit. fucking... IRS comes to collect my fucking nine years worth of unpaid income tax. I'm a fucking child. What are you doing? Income tax. I'm a child. I don't pay taxes. I'm a child. Are you trying to tax a child? Are you a pedophile? Is that what you're about? Are you trying to dodge? <laughs> Wait, sir. Are you trying to dodge our taxes? We're a child. <laughs> the CIA is a child. So oh, the shit. IRS is a child. All these government oh, no. are child. Hey, fuck, dude. They're sending the CIA I'm to collect taxes child now. you, sir. Holy oh, man. shit. How dare you? <laughs> the fucking dude hoist by my own petard. Yeah, what if they try to have an answer to that? On you, you know? We're also guess... a child, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're are a you child. Not, are, you are you avoiding the taxes of a child? <laughs> I'm a literal child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another oh, one about fuck. a child right here. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get rid of me? I'm a child. <laughs> I'm a child. I'm a, you know, it, I'm a child. No, no, it actually does kind of apply here. So, um, yeah, I really. want my fiance to get rid of his five-year-old daughter. Hello, what? relationship rules. Please keep me anonymous. I need some advice from your followers. My 32-year-old fiance has a five-year-old daughter. Her mother passed away when she was giving birth to her. Uh, he has been raising her ever since he lost his wife with uh, help from his family, of course. I am now in the picture. And we're getting married in 2023. And I'm six months pregnant with his son. I'm not the stepmother type, so I won't uh, treat this daughter the same way I treat my, our son. To be quite honest, she annoys me. She looks exactly like her mother, so she constantly reminds my fiancé of his dead wife, and she is very attached to her daddy, which makes me afraid that my son will not be able to bond with his father because of her. Basically, I want to tell my fiancé to get rid of her. She can live with her grandparents, or we can find her a nice couple that wants to adopt a child. I don't know how to approach the situation, but I need to find a way to convince my fiance to get rid of her. I'm not a bad person. I'm just <laughs> trying to look out for my son and make sure he will get all his father's attention that he deserves. Please help. Uh, yeah, you are a bad person. Uh, like, yeah, most people think, think you're a bad person. No, I, I understand, like, the pragmatic, evil, like, lizard brain shit you're doing, which is like, nope, ain't gonna be no competition. See, but that's pretty it. fucked Whatever. up. God damn it. I said the wrong letter organization. Fuck you. That's pretty fucked up, dude. Just get, look, just get right up. Look, the mom is dead. How what do you approach want? the subject? You know, I need to figure out a way to tactfully tell my fiance, uh, give your daughter up for adoption. You know, look, that kid is uh, she's damaged goods. Yeah, you look, you know, why the wife? God rest his soul. She's no longer here. You know, you won't. Be, they'll have to divide your attention. Do you really want to do that? Just get rid of the kid. Fake as shit. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I already told you all of this is real. This has been confirmed by the CIA confirmed and NASA. Confirmed true. 
Myth Any letter organization is confirmed true, this to be it's authentic. True, it's true. God damn you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did they just accuse us of being fake? Yeah. We are a child, sir. Sir, sir we're a child. We we're are a child. a child. We are a child. You some kind of we're pedophile in here telling us that we're fake? You just are told you a, a pedophile? child that they're fake. What does that mean? Do you, do you, do you walk around Do you, do you walk around all day doll? telling children child they're fake, sir? To you? Is that what's going on here, sir? Like how many children have you told they were fake today, sir? Wow. 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 This is why I hate living in a neighborhood right here. Suspicious behavior. <laughs> I saw my next door neighbor drive up to their house, open the what? garage door from inside the vehicle and drive in and close the door behind them. It was last night around 5.30 p.m. Did anyone else see this? Typically, they park in the driveway, but last night, they parked in the garage. I've made a report, but I want to keep others on the lookout for this type of behavior. It just makes me nervous for this to be happening in my neighborhood. Let me get this straight. A man? Vehicle one type truck. Parked a vehicle in his own garage? That's right, Scotty. Why? Excuse uh, me, Scotty. Did you park your truck in the garage today? Uh, yes, I did. Don't you usually park it on the street? Uh, yeah, usually, yeah. I'm a child. Uh, yeah. I'm a child. Do you just park your your truck in the garage all the time uh, in front I'm, of a child? I'm, I'm sorry. Are you a pedophile? No, no, no what? what? I'm a child. Uh, well, I'll, where do you want me to park it? I Did you just put suggestive. that truck in a garage? That garage is a child. Wow. Uh, Take that truck out of that garage. You go putting trucks in, in child garages all the time? Well, I mean, I, I, I thought that it was truck a truck is a child, too. Everything's a child. This, this neighborhood is a child, sir. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, uh, are, you guys, are you guys watching this podcast? You guys watching this show right now, this live stream? Are you guys yeah. watching us? Yeah. This live stream is a child. You're, you're, watching, a child. you're watching a child this right is an now. infant. What is wrong with you? What is fucking wrong with you? This show's over. This show's over.